Oh, yeah. Does this kind of music scare you, RB3? Yeah. Scares you? Yeah, we, uh, we weren't raised to listen to this. Kind of no? Music. I'm uh, not convinced Robert's mic is on. Oh, <laughs> it is on. Okay. Oh, there you it can is. Hear there it is. There's the there beautiful laugh. <laughs> hey, let's tell a joke and then insert his, his laugh post. Oh. oh, shit. I don't have the oh, sound bites right now. Come on. Ryan Unperfect. We were all I, ready for this, man. I do things on the fly, man. You think That's he would good. laugh at his own laugh? If we just kept playing the laugh, I think, you think he would I laugh he to a company to laugh? Yeah, really? Because I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like when on the live show, we played it, and he'd be like, <laughs> Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's all good. Anyway. Well, RB3, welcome. Welcome to What's the up, dude? Thank second you for episode me. of The Wanger Show on video now. Oh, yeah. We can acknowledge it. Surprise. Um, because last week I guess we just forgot to oh, yeah. mention it or something yeah, like no, that. No, 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 it was awesome. an, an important, you know, yeah. accomplishment for the show. Mm-hmm. You know, totally, well, totally fine. Well, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Yeah, I'm very excited to be here with the uh, upside down M that we have. <laughs> well, you gotta, you, you gotta had to bring attention it to it. No one, no there one wasn't was a ever, W. No one was ever. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't a W. Uh, the Target. Look, I love every Target. Excuse me. I love everything that y'all do. It's a fantastic store. But you got no friggin' W. <laughs> I, I went to a Target one time, and they had all those, and they, they rearranged the letters to say, send nudes. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it was the funniest. That's, that's, that's great. great. Yeah. I found one that, that, that I, because I, I kind of want to uh, make a little bar mm-hmm. right here in the front, and there's like a little bar thing, right, the bar sign, so I might just buy that. All right. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Get so Netflix problem. has been killing it. <laughs> Netflix so. has been fucking uh, crushing RB3, it. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Everybody cheers. Thank cheers to the second episode video. Yep. Uh, as you notice, yep. uh, RB3 yep. is not of age, so he is drinking orange juice. Um so uh, we're yeah. gonna do this. Hold yeah, on. Hold, yeah, no, we're yeah, gonna yeah. get this toast. Come okay, here, careful, Robert. Spill I'm not gonna computer. spill. Not, <laughs> For those right. of you listening only, we are just cheering to each other, and I will <laughs> wait till someone else finishes drinking, so that way I can drink, and what? then someone could. Thank you. Just keep talking. So no. So there's just like you know, no one. No oh, one. okay. I see how it is. Okay. Anyway, guys, welcome to the. Okay, I'm not gonna talk anymore because you have finished your drink. <laughs> yes, I have. That okay. was a very quick drink. Right. Yeah. Woo. We got a lot of great stuff planned for you guys today. A we have of, nothing planned at all. Nothing. No, we never planned this <laughs> shit. We just like having open conversations. It yeah. could be about movies. We could do a pitch. We could do a pitch today. We could do a pitch. We could do a pitch. We I know you've been pitch. writing a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. Beardo, uh, we can talk about Beardo's hatred against Logan. Um, <laughs> and we can talk to RB3 a little bit. Uh, yeah. Oh, first things first. Top of the top of the show. This top is very of the important. morning. Um, I guess we should plug things first, but nah, fuck that. <laughs> pulp or no pulp? No Pope. Thank you. That's right. Thank yeah. You. What kind of a fucking... Wait, wait. What did you say? No Pope. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. No, yeah, yeah. Just make sure. It was pretty wait. clear what he said. I know, yeah, I know, no I know. Pope. He said it pretty clearly. There's no confusion whatsoever. Brian, <laughs> Pope or no Pope? No Pope. Okay, good. I don't understand why you would want like shit in your drinks. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I hate when yeah. shit floats in my drink. Like I have a... troubles with ice sometimes. Really? Oh, I, no, I love me some ice. Crushed yeah. ice or blocked? Crushed, or actually, cubed. I don't like that much. It depends. Cubed all the way. It depends. Oh, the cubed? Oh, no, no. Okay, no. I love at like AM PM the little circles, the little circle ice. I know. Oh, the little adorable ones. little Yeah. Thing. Or is yeah. it AM PM mm-hmm. or is it 7 Eleven one of the two? Those things. I don't know. And uh, 7 Eleven pizza and snickerdoodles. Very good. You go there a lot, do you? No, but yeah, I've had saying, the 7 Eleven pizza. It's really it's good. It's fucking really good. <laughs> it's like, I asked a dumb question it. with them. I was like, how much How much is a uh, slice of pizza? Like $1. I was like, oh, how much for two? <laughs> you know that doesn't surprise me. And they're like, "What were you me. expecting? Like a dollar fifty? Yeah, I was because I always have a deal like two for like something, like mm-hmm. Red Bulls, two for something. So I was like, oh, how it's much like for a, two? A random price. Yeah, and there. she's and she looks at me. She's like, two dollars. Oh, like, <laughs> that, not a smile or anything. She's like this fucking guy. No, she yeah. smiles. She's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like two dollars. Oh, but it is good pizza. Do you, do you eat? Do you eat a lot of pizza? <laughs> Yeah, I love pizza, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Holy yeah. shit, man. I ate so much pizza yesterday. Really? Oh, yeah, I was kind of yeah, concerned no for his health. Oh, it was no. like seven slices, man. <laughs> From where? From the... Uh... Uh, now, it wasn't like... It wasn't like triangle full, slices. Yeah. It they was like, like uh, you know, one of those giant pizzas where yeah. they cut it in like uh, squares. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. had like seven of them. Oh, okay. That's so well, that's more understandable. Yeah. From where, yeah. though? Uh, I think it was a Big Mama's or something like that. Big Mama, and ba- it's good pizza. It's really fun. That's all we know. Pizza. That's all uh, I care about. What's good. your favorite pizza chain, like normal or like a big brand chain? Oh, that's a fantastic question. There's a local one when I lived in Corona that was fantastic called Anthony's. Anthony's, if you're listening, you're not, but you make fantastic pizza and your breadsticks well, are even better. What was that one pizza place you and I went to when you used to live in Corona? Oh, the sports place? Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't even remember. That it's pizza, fantastic. That place, that, that, yeah. had you, had you been there before we went? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've been there like a couple times. Okay. Yeah. What am I, crazy? Great place. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That was pretty good. Uh, but favorite, like I like Pizza um, Hut. I like Pizza Hut too. Pizza good. Okay, see, here's the thing. Uh, we're all we're like fucking pointing. We're calling people. We're calling out Target. <laughs> hey, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. No, the, the one thing that pisses me off about Pizza Hut sometimes is that y- I love the regular crust that they always
Yeah, Brett, if you Brett, don't tell them, yeah. If you don't fucking tell them, it's just like, yeah, sure, we'll give you this fucking thing. And it's fine, but it ruins the pizza. It's not the pan. It's not, it's not the pan, pan, dude. Yes, I like yeah, thick crust. Yeah. Yeah. You know, everyone, everyone, by the way, is yelling at us for supporting Pizza Hut, by the way. <laughs> yeah, pizza probably. Hut is widely well, considered don't get me wrong, fucking like, awful. Is it really? Yes. Oh, P- I people know hate pizza. Oh, people I, like pizza. I love, I like I love, pe- I just love pizza. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, any New Yorker, like, that's born in New York. When I was yeah. in New York in December, oh my god, I had that like every day. Yeah, like, different places, yeah. three times a day. Pizza I love different pizza huts different, every day. Different pizza. Yeah. I love. I love They're all the different pizza huts. The episode yeah. of The Office is yeah. like, go go get a real traditional New York pizza. He goes to Sabaro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, there was a local pizza place um, in my neighborhood, and it was called Gondolas. I think I've taken you guys there before. Oh, that? Wait, yeah, 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 I've been there. Oh, yeah. that's my favorite. The cheese just, it's just, it's just gondolas. Oh, gondolas. Like- Gondola? Gondola? Like a gondola. Like a gondola. Yeah. Like a gondola. It's spelled the same way. Yeah, but okay. they, they say They say gondolas. they have a much cooler way of saying it. They do. Okay. They absolutely do. Like the Italian gondola rides thing, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah, do- Domino's for I me think we're in the right here, Brian. Do, we're going to let do, this go. Okay, I do yeah. like Domino's, though. We're going to let him continue to say it like this, okay? <laughs> Ever since... Um, Moana. His, his whole... Moana. Oh, God. Ace got so angry. When I was mad at you. I've oh never seen it. God. I haven't seen it. I've never seen the movie. Um, <laughs> I have it on Blu-ray. I said it like I was from the South. No, Moana. You guys want to see that Moana movie? Patriots die. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, man. You like Domino's, though? Yeah, yeah, the, the, like the pan piece, the, the, like the new pan pieces they have. Oh like, yeah, once Every Domino's, once, they, once they got their shit together, yeah. oh, it's, yeah. it's less diarrhea. I, rem- yeah, you know? I remember when I was a little kid, Domino's was the absolute worst. Yeah, like it was like, like it was, a week ago. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember that? exactly. Yeah, back in like, 2015, it was yeah, like a really yeah. bad yeah. time. <laughs> but like when they, I think they had started changing it with like the garlic crust, like mm. the little. And they that's did. When it started to become come good, and then. Now they have like that pan crust. That's like, ooh, yeah. They Domino's, did step their game up. Yeah, Domino's is yeah. fun to order online because when you order online, they have like their little animated person making oh, your pizza yeah. for you. Oh, yeah, Pete, yeah, yeah. Pete, the pizza maker. Fuck, I'm moving sucks your mic closer. You are. They can see that too. I know, but I'm moving it closer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But for the audio listeners, um, speaking of mics, speaking of mics, what the hell does Brian have going on here? I have He's a little, got like. Uh, <laughs> He's a little winger. It's a little shotgun yeah, it's microphone. It's a little winger. <laughs> it looks like a little penis. It's yeah. just like for those of you who can't it's see, it's like a candy corn that yeah. went rotten eight oh, years ago. That it's reminded me. Like, oh, that those that are reminded me yeah. when I when I texted RB three. I was like, "Hey, do you want to come on Wangers this weekend?" <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> wow, oh, it's so good. Uh, maturity well, and respect is what we like to uh, promote um, here. Yeah. Speaking of Wangers, if y'all are watching this on YouTube's, we're gonna do something pretty cool for y'all. All right, okay? what are we doing? So if you're watching this on YouTube. Be sure to hit that like, leave a comment below, and we're going to give away a free Wangers t-shirt of your choosing. If you want a cool uh, you know, baseball tee like the one I have or just a regular tee, let us know. Tank top. Um, don't get greedy now. Don't get like a, a mug. We sell tank tops? Yeah, there's tank tops. Oh, I didn't know that. There's, yeah, oh, there's wow. a bunch of different Would kinds. Would you wear a tank top? I can never rock a tank top <laughs> in my life. Look at my arms, Brian. It'd be good white balance. <laughs> it would be a good white, white balance, balance. Yeah. yeah. You're rocking the Billy from Scream right now. I, like I, I knew you was going to bring this every up. Every time you wear a white every shirt. Every time I wear it, you, especially you, like right when I do my hair, it yeah. like goes down here and it totally mm-hmm. looks like Billy you from do. Scream. Billy. So Barely. make sure, uh, leave a like on this video, uh, comment anything that we're talking about all day long, which favorite fucking pizza, I don't care. Um, if you if you like my hair more than his, and you probably like Cody's hair more than mine. I fucking hate my hair. I've been you don't like cut it? it for a month now. Have you still yeah. not gotten a haircut? I, Jesus, does it look man. like I got a haircut, I, Brian? I don't pay attention to your hairline. Okay, fair enough. I have not. <laughs> okay. I have not gotten a haircut. But I, yeah. but I don't think I've ever seen you after a haircut. Really? Like post haircut, like right away where you're like, oh, that guy got a haircut. You pay attention. Okay, you pay attention enough to know that you haven't but seen I, me. When okay. I, I think like, so f- my logic is I off. feel like you're totally paying attention to my hair, Brian. <laughs> I think, I think the first time I ever interviewed you for Schmoes, your hair was really, really short. Yeah, I used to buzz it all the time. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. Mm-hmm. How do you like your hair? In the dark days. Um, it depends, I, man. I know you're wearing a, you know, you get that fade. Yeah, yeah, I get the fade, but like when it starts looking like crusty, I, I make sure I have, I have a hat <laughs> on. Crusty? Just, Interesting. Yeah, yeah. It has okay. a look crusty. Uh, Here, here's, a, here's a question. Not, I'll ask no, you, RB3. You go to the barber? Yeah. You go to the barber? Everybody goes to the barber? I go to a barber. Yeah. Isn't it the worst? Going Wait, do you go to a barber? Yeah. Okay, here's the, the fucking best. thing. I can't it's go to a barber. Because I can't have, like, guy talk. Look, I, just, I, don't, I, can't. I don't fucking talk to my barber. Once you just sit down and not say anything, they understand that you don't want to talk. I know, they get but that. still. They're okay. not going to be like, oh, you catch the Laker game the That's the day? thing. They're not like, going to do that. Like, you catch the big game? I'm like, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah what would you think of... Uh, <laughs> they uh, don't incite the conversation. You have to try to continue the conversation with them. I know. But They'll also know very quickly that you don't want to talk. I hate doing that. But I also but like... I, I like going to Supercuts, too, you know? <laughs> I fantastic Sam. I like getting my hair washed, you know? I like, I like, I like it. it. It feels really great. My no, barbershop but, does not wash hair, and I miss no, that. that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I but, it. no, I... Why... God damn it. Guys, uh, that's the I, show. I may... <laughs
Let's just let's. Uh, we like to be transparent with the audience here. Let's explain what happened here. Uh, I still have the Wanger song uploaded here and ready to play, and I put my elbow down on the, the track. Pad. I saw it as I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and change tabs to make sure that doesn't happen again. Here, I apologize oh, greatly. Uh, yeah, I totally derailed the show there. You did. Um, but back to the haircut conversation. Yeah. I love when they get the tr- the the trimmers and they go the clippers. Sorry, the trimmers. <laughs> Uh, when they get the clippers and they go on the back of the neck right here, yeah. Oh, it feels barber so good. shops do that too. Well, I just they do it at Fantastic <laughs> Sam's as well. No, but as, do they do the razor though? My barber shop does the razor. Ooh, razor I don't do that. that. No, yeah. I also have don't ever, have hair back here. Oh, so okay, that's true. yeah. yeah. So yeah. So no, gotten, also, I'm an eight year old boy, bro. <laughs> they bring the razor. I'm like, I'm not gonna do like, that. We were getting shaved with a with a. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, it's scary, but it feels good. You guys have shaved. Yeah. How's it feel? RB3 oh, shaved. Yeah, shaved. But you know, for, for me, like, I love going to the barber shop because I really do get like the, the black barber experience. Like, hey, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I'd go to that. Like I, it, I'd want to experience it too. Yeah, like, is yeah. the mo- is it like the movie or is that like just a like a parody of it? No, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty like, uh, but I will say, like, if you go to a, like a, uh, it depends on like the area, you know, like if you're going to, to there in Chicago and that, in those movies, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. go like Compton. So, little bit different conversation though. Yeah. <laughs> okay but not like not Is like in something a bad you way, cannot like, say what's on the air. what's but the like, you know. like okay either funniest or craziest experience you've ever had at a barbershop um i mean there's been a lot man but i mean for me the most recently that one was just hilarious was just uh one of the barbers is talking about starting an amp I was like a tinder, but like you have to like verify that you're you're STD free. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty good. It's called like AIDS check or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you have to upload medical documents. So like, That's holy good. shit. And he's like, you want to invest, bro? You want to invest on my app? <laughs> Real quick, tweet out the phone number. Oh, okay. tweet out the phone number. Oh yeah. Uh, where uh, I was gonna say on one of the one time I was at the barber shop and they just started handing out Bud Lights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Really? Yeah, go. it was pretty crowded. And they're like, here, you want Bud Light? I'm like, okay. What barber shop is this? I would that was to one go. in Covina. No. You guys are. Oh, I oh, live you're in Covina, Covina. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is this? Oh, well, I it's, find it. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, okay. Where do you guys. Have time. you guys ever been to like the sports clips before? Oh, I got I got a free yeah, like haircut for that. It's like the first time you go, it's yeah. free. Is it? How is it? It's, 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 it's well, I went when I went when I was like 16 because I got I got a free thing for like giving blood. Oh. But, I thought you were gonna say give him blow. Yeah, they've, no, they've been around. Them. They, they've wow. been they've been around that long. They've been around for a while. Oh shit! Okay, because there's one down the street that just opened up. I kind of want to try. But it. but then I went back to see the price. It was like a thirty dollar haircut. I was Ooh, like I was like nah. No. Oh, Why see, the I, hell I was, would you pay that much? Yeah, it was. How much do you pay at Supercuts and Fantastic Sam's? By the way, like twenty. No, I, I look even yeah. that's a little much. My, okay. my, my How much is that barber? Because they cut my like ten to fifteen. Yeah, well, if you include the tip. Oh yeah, yeah. Like it's, so. it's like eighteen bucks. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, low key I pay like thirty. Like really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I feel like that's a much delicate kind of hair to deal with. Yeah, than this yeah. piece of shit. It's you like, know what I mean? Well, it's like for one, I get design too, so it's like I get a, a part. Yeah. And, Sometimes it might get something else. But I always, I always feel like, like that kind too. of hair is art, whereas this is just like. <laughs> Here's my question: What do you guys like order? I guess when you go to the bar, when you go to the freaking get your haircut, what do you say? Oh, like a like a number five or something. Okay, like okay. That. So no, no, because I always see like I'm always stressed out. That's that's why I don't like getting haircuts. I don't know what to say to these people. Oh, like like I'm like, can I get like a number five on the sides, but like a little bit longer, yeah. so I can like do something? You know what I'm talking about? I say that every time and it look like a fucking jackass. What's the number five? Like a number five all around. Oh, I thought you meant like your no like, like, like a. Order. Like a burger yeah. king. Like, I'll take the number five. Okay. Can I get a number five with a side of shampoo? Where's my please? damn price? Where's you know the damn price? What the fuck's going on here? You know what you thought, RB3? Uh, yeah. No, no, come on, come on. I knew what he was talking about. Yeah, 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 I got you. I used to get, I used to get like a four or five all around, but now I, I'm like, I'm like, can I get kind of like a gentleman's? But you know, you know, but, what, the, what the hell does that mean? Like the short on the sides, longer on top. Like a gentleman's cut. I kind of just like. That's a thing. That's what I'm saying. Do I need to know terminology now? That's all I know. I'm stressed out whenever I go to the damn barber. I just spell it. I'm like, can I get a part right here? Like Mm. combed over, styled over. We have a call, by the way. Oh, and cool. Then, and then, yeah. like, kind of faded around, like, taper oh, fade. Like yeah. Yeah. Well, see, I was, I've was i been fortunate because one of my best friends, she cuts hair. So mm-hmm. I just go to her and she's like, usual? Like, yeah. And oh, she yeah, fucking yeah. hooks it up. Well, see, so, for me, yeah, because, you know, with us, like, uh, well, for me at least, I, I've i had, like, like three different barbers, like, over the course of my life, you know, but for a lot of black, you know, for a lot of, I don't want to say for a lot of black people, but <laughs> for, for a lot of, like, that kind of, like, uh, people in my area, it's like you, mm-hmm. you have the same barber like throughout your whole life. Really? Oh, okay. So, so like, I, actually, I had the same barber throughout my life. Go same on. black yeah. barber. I'm not black. Oh, okay. I'm not black. <laughs> Go on. Sorry. But yeah, no. So, so for me, like, I just literally get in the chair and he's like, same thing. He's like, yeah. Oh, that's so, pretty cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I usually, but you know, I'm very particular about my hair too. So if I want to change it up or if I do something different, yeah. I'll just tell him, like, you know, uh, for me, at least, it's, it
uh, yeah. get Lightning part strike or, little, or something. Yeah, you yeah. Know what? Little, little I don't Zion's think I've ever hat. seen Robert without a hat in like the year that I've known him. I, I yeah, was, no, I like the, the last show. You, the last show. He, yeah, he, he, wears, the, he wore the Marvel hat. Oh, without a no, hat. No, without a hat. Oh. Yeah. It was, it's literally, He's had a hat every day I've seen You're him. right. No, liter- literally every... The only shows I don't wear a hat is like the week after I get a haircut. Oh. It's like wow. I always show it off. Me and then, too. Well, yeah. and then do, like the next week after I put on a hat. We do have a caller right now, and we're currently talking about haircuts. Where We have RB3 <laughs> in studio. Uh, caller, what is your name, and what kind of... What do you order when you go to the barber? <laughs> Uh, hi, this is Sarah. Oh, oh Sarah. I knew it was going to be Sarah. I knew it was going to be Sarah. So this barbershop it. question was going to be awkward. Sarah's okay. becoming my favorite okay, caller. Yes. Guys, What's up, guys, Sarah? Guess what? I literally just got a haircut 20 minutes ago. Oh. Sarah, you are the okay. perfect caller Hold on. for this show. Every <laughs> Hold week on. you come through clutch. Good she God. Does. This is right. different, though. This is a female. Oh, yeah. What do you say when you get a haircut? Because you can't be like, I, can I get a five all the way around? Can order, order the number five? Yeah. 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 The number five She's not going to get that yet. We're not live. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's not simple. <laughs> okay, what, what do you what do you what do you order? I guess when what you, you go, get, what, what do you, you get? Do you just get a little uh, trim. What do you do? Okay, yeah. Here's the deal. Um, I always go in wanting to cut off as much as possible mm-hmm. because I short hair is just easier to manage. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. But then I, I always check it out and say like, just make it long enough for me to tie into a ponytail, but as short as possible. Still, there you okay. go. Do you get okay. shampooed after? I get shampooed and conditioned before Copster. Come on. No, oh, that whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, no, no, no. That was Ryan. <laughs> that was Copster. Ryan. Don't you understand? That was not me. Don't you understand? I know I'm a, do come on. I know I'm a come fucking on. asshole, but <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> that wasn't me. Gosh, that was totally you. It wasn't yeah. me this time. RB3, back that was me up. Absolutely Copster who <laughs> said that. Stop fucking laughing. Yeah. Your hair's gotta be wet for it to touch properly. Come yeah. I know. Yeah. I always yeah, shower and I shampoo and condition before that too. Oh, no, okay. I don't even shower before. Oh, sometimes. you fucking. Uh, I always, Ew, I always really? shower before. One of oh, those guys. Man. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's oh. like going to the doctor oh, yeah. and not showering before you like. You yeah. Know. Are you supposed to do that too? Yeah. <laughs> Brian, do you just like to make people uncomfortable? When no, I, when I shower okay. before everything. I but I, ha- I hate because because I don't get shampooed after, I have to shower again. Oh, yeah. You always have to shower again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah, fuck. yeah. Should I shower before? Why not? Just take two showers. Guys, did they not wash your hair at the actual salon? Well, Copster's or? fancy salon that well, he goes to. Does, I go to Sarah. salons. I like it, but they go to barbers. So <laughs> barbers is you know they're a bit more relaxed. They don't really do that. They they do one thing and they're like, all right, you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, I like a, a nice touch. Well, because I love. I mean, I like being scratched and, and massaged and all that stuff. So like so like you know when they're washing my hair, it feels like a nice massage on my head. You know what I mean? It what does, ju- what, does ju- what just happened here, guys? He likes to be scratched and massaged. I do. He okay. scra- starts scratching my I'm arm, not and I'll, I'll be like, hey, scratch my back. I'm not going it's, to do it's that. It's a fucking disease, man. <laughs> good Lord. I got okay. a lot of problems, man. Okay. It does All feel right. good, but the, when you like say it out loud, it sounds weird. It sounds really <laughs> weird. Well, that like wasn't me that said that. That was, that was you know, Sarah. That wasn't me. That was Brian that said that. <laughs> that was totally swear. Brian that said that. Yeah. When you're watching this back on your YouTube app, you'll see that I was the one that asked for the question. Hey, by the way, Sarah, thanks for the support. I wasn't going to bring this up. Thanks for the support. All right. Uh, look, I'm I, I'm not here to prove anything. Okay, <laughs> I'm just very happy that I'm not the only. Like seriously, at, uh, all jokes aside, I am just I am just so freaking happy that I'm not the only one. I thought it was crazy. I thought it was crazy that I was the only person using this it, fucking app. It did make it seem like me, me and Brian were making it seem like you were crazy. We were a little bit. No, I, I used that too. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Arby. No, I know. No. You you already won. Okay, the comments clearly prove that people <laughs> use you, the Sarah. app. Sarah, you're it. the best. Thank you yeah, for right. uh, for uh, supporting me and all Thank that. You guys. All right, Bye, have Sarah. a good day. I, I don't know if I actually supported you, but sure. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, no, she, just, she watches it on her laptop. She, oh, that's she right. Did. Yeah, yeah, Sarah was on my side. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, look, here's the deal. Here, I want to I want to talk about this because I didn't say oh. all I wanted to say last. Time. Oh, okay. Here we're we about to hang out, but here we go. Now that I've actually watched the video and I've seen the conversation, mm. I'm with Cody 100%. Why would you want to watch a video on your phone as your first choice? I mean, Sarah, come on. Sarah, I know. Look, right now you're on the phone, but when you go back and watch this video, I am pointing to you right now and giving you two thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you for, for expanding on this. So what was that face for? <laughs> I was making a face at you before you turned around. All yeah. right, whatever. Hold on. Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. No, oh, 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 RB3 is about oh, to break wait, down. Go okay, ahead. okay. Does, any, does anybody here have YouTube bread? No, no. Because I have YouTube bread. It's oh, great, and, and watching it on my phone is like an actually like great experience. Okay, <laughs> because because when you're using it, it's like you could you don't you don't have any ads. Okay, mm-hmm. you know it, it just goes straight to the video, and then it's like you know you could up, you could watch it in, in 1080, you know stuff like that. And mm-hmm. then plus, if you want to shut your phone down and just listen to something, yeah. it'll just like keep going. Still. That's but why you, you I wish do I wish, that. You can't do that unless you have you red, can't. right? Yes. You yeah. know what you can yeah. do that for? Safari. Safari. You, you also, can do it in Safari. I've, I've said all I need to say. You can't do that on your laptop, though. 
I'm not. You could go in the next tab. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. My, my thing, my thing, Sarah, because like I, I do watch a good amount of YouTube, but it's not. A lot of the time, I don't actually just. Sit I can't and believe watch we're still it. talking about this shit. Yeah. No, oh, God she, damn it. you guys brought it up. I, know, I, I, I didn't even bring okay, it up. Okay. I, I like I'll play a video game and if it's not story based or anything like that, I'll just have the phone right there on the side and I'll be listening to, you know, whoever like Philip DeFranco, Red Letter Mino, mm-hmm. whoever it is that I listen to, and it's just kind of right there. Like I don't follow a whole lot of YouTubers and kind of wait for the next video. There's a there's a very small handful mm-hmm. and you know, a lot of the times I just go back and listen to a bunch of old stuff. You know, our, our buddies Eric, Jake, and Mike from pretty, pretty much, much it. it. I yeah. watch their old shit all the freaking yeah, time and their new stuff too. Oh yeah. So, you know, it all depends. And, and, and like the conversation we had, I said, like, if it's a short film or if it's like Raka Raka, I watch a lot of Raka Raka. Okay. They have some really oh, great. They, those guys are stunts. good. Those twin have, brother yeah, guys? Yeah. yeah. I'll watch them on my laptop or, you know, when, the, when it's needed to be watched on a bigger platform. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I do. All right. All right, fine. Fair enough, fair enough. Can, can we you. put a pin in this argument? Okay. Yes. Let's, just, let's yes. stop talking about yes. this. Sorry, Thank guys, you, Sarah. Didn't, uh, didn't you open the box again? No, that's okay. <laughs> no, that's you're goodbye. That's the you're official uh, <laughs> pin, <laughs> and you just completely reminded me that I won in that one. So thank you, Sarah. Sarah Have a great day. You, uh, uh, <laughs> bye, Sarah. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. As long as cops hasn't seen La La Land, I'll keep calling. Oh, <laughs> oh, by the way, guess what, guys? You did not watch no, La La Land. Shut the fuck up. Uh, I'll watch it, Sarah. I promise. Right. I'll watch it just for you, not for these guys. I, right. I'm waiting for that tweet, Copster. I'm waiting for the tweet. All, All right. right. You'll be All waiting right. until 2020. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sarah. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Sarah. Bye. 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 Uh, she's the best. She oh, we have really another call. This guy's once been calling like three times. Should we answer? Oh, wow. He's hmm. I'll, I'll yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No left here. That we're just waiting a complete asshole. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Caller, you are on the Wanger show. Who do we got? It's Evan from Florida. Who is this again? Devin. Evan. 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 Florida. 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 Oh, that's right. What's yeah. up, buddy? You got you got RB three in studio. Hey, how's it going? I know it's not that exciting, but if you want to ask <laughs> him something, go on ahead. We're talking. We don't know what we're talking about right now. We were talking about barbers, pizza. Yelling at uh, various chains of foods and mm-hmm. and, and shopping. Do you have a places. grudge against any fast food places? Oh yeah. yeah, that's a good question. Any okay, one? all right, all right. Um, uh, let's start with the barbers real quick. Okay. So, okay. All right. So just past week, I went to my first Puerto Rican barber. Oh, oh. Those are a thing. Okay. Is that Greatest right. experience right. of my life. Really? Uh-huh. Without a shadow of a doubt. What? Describe. Describe. Yeah, yeah, like, like, what makes tell it so us great? What's going on here? I. It's just like compared to compared to everything else, like. It's like they're taking care of your hair. They're not. They're not just cutting it or anything. They're legitimately oh, wow. taking care of your hair. Are they scratching and massaging it? No. Not the place for cops. No. Okay. It, it's just the basic facts that 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 they're like right there, and it, and, it, and it's and it's not some like white lady who's you know cutting your hair anymore. It's like there's this nothing wrong barber, with that. You know? There is nothing wrong with a white lady cutting your hair because they they're like you know it, it could be like sometimes you get a mother she she. Cares for when her kids. When it's like an elderly woman, it's oh. like the best. Right? It's like, it's, oh, it's like they're taking care of yeah. your hair as if yeah. your life depended on it. Yeah. You know? Anyway. But, you know, I, I got not that. Any, well, not, not at hair cutting shops, though, because it's just like, uh, whatever. And then they cut it within 15 minutes, and, you know, you always have to go back for recuts. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. See what you're saying. Mm. Uh, so, what else do they have in this barber here? Do they got like roller coasters? Do they like have, they have food? Stuff. What do they got for you, man? No. All right. So, so it's it's kind of like in the ghetto of the uh, of the little town that I live in, right? Ghetto, okay. And ghetto so you're walking in. Best. What? Ghetto barbers are always the best. Yeah, <laughs> Robert, they the are. It, it, it's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. They're just like, yeah, bro, I got you taken care of, and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. All right, all right, cool. Hmm. Yeah. So right. um, look out for these barbers. Places. All right. Would have to recommend. Do they have um, Do they have loud music playing? To me, uh, no, yeah, they did. Oh, or yeah. no, each barber had their own music playing in their earbuds. <laughs> oh whoa that's kind of like isolating interesting okay mm. all right have you seen the dave Chappelle sketch when like they're playing they go to bar- different barber shops the Chappelle show different 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 music like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. oh yeah <laughs> well, see that's you know for it, it, and, and like Quest black barbers it. too it's, it's uh it sometimes it depends like if there's like a lot of old people in there they'll play like some jazzy uh, music like through the speakers or whatever like loud speakers you know yeah. or and then sometimes if it's like a lot of young people they play like some rap music you know like, so it's, it's always fun to it. that's why i'm not a fan of some barber shops because the music is so loud and it's like right the speakers right <laughs> on my ear but yeah but no the, you, it's still like at a good volume where you can still talk to people though, oh you know, yeah, so. okay okay right. yeah evan what uh what part of florida are you in tampa Yes! Are you a Buccaneers fan? Oh, my God. 
No, I'm a Patriots. Oh, Evan, Evan, you have you went from such a high to a low so quickly there. Oh my God. Okay, I almost had him. I almost had a fellow Buccaneers fan that I met in my life. <laughs> oh, there's no because there's no I've, other. I've never met another Buccaneers been, fan. Actually, no, but Cody, okay. Cody, I've been to a Buccaneers game on on the second row. Mm-hmm. There's not a there's not a bad seat in, in Raymond James Stadium. Right? Yeah, yeah, that in the pirate ship. It looks so cool there. <laughs> oh man, I want to go there so bad. Anyway. Is this Evan? Hey, can okay. I get one more question in real quick? Oh, yeah, 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 buddy, yeah. come on. All right, sweet. All right, so I got pressed for a Star Wars celebration, right? Nice. Okay. So what do you recommend as a person who's doing press for a small local newspaper should do? Uh, you're definitely going to want to try to get in the main hall because that's where yeah. a lot of the big things are. Because I think – because we're going. I know, Cody, you're not going. Thanks. Yeah. I, think, I think they're taking a smaller crew, but uh, I'll be out there. I didn't know that. Thanks for reminding me, dude. <laughs> yeah, You didn't want to go. Yeah. Um, no, uh, yeah, definitely we're going to want to get into the main halls because I think it's – I think Thursday is the big episode eight stuff. Friday, I want to say, is like yep. the the video game stuff. Saturday is the animated stuff. And then Sunday, I want to say, is the spinoff stuff. I think. Don't quote me on boy because I ain't say nothing yet. But I, I do <laughs> – not, not quite how that song goes. No, that's the radio version. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. You ever heard of the song on the radio? I don't know what you're don't talking about. Don't quote me, boy. I, no? Do you know you, what you've got, you've I know got, he's talking you about. got that information from an inside source who, who got that from another guy, who got that from his barber, yes. who got that from, from the barber's friend, it full who circle. works at a Puerto uh, Rican barber shop. Mm-hmm. Who told you that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. But but yeah, definitely that. Um, but I mean, Star Wars Celebrations, have you been before at all? No, it's my first time. It's, it's very because I, you know, I was able time. to go. It's incredibly fun. Uh, out of all the cons yeah. and conventions that I've ever been to, the one is the Star Wars Celebration I went in 2015. Yeah, I Anaheim think it was. One. That was probably the best convention I've ever been to because it's like, like Comic Con for Star Wars. It's dude. it's, it's everyone's fun. there for the same reason. Um, and don't get me wrong, Comic Con's great. You get really drunk uh, at nights. Yeah, you it's do. a lot of fun. Sorry, every three. I know you can't yet. Um, but hey, I can't get. Hey, I can't drink either. It's good. Yeah, hey, yeah right. that's okay. They got fake IDs. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't ever don't do that. that. <laughs> just just we wait it out. That, just yeah. wait it out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, I definitely I would recommend trying to get into those main halls and and seeing all the footage okay. there because you know it's it, not because I guarantee the trailers are going to release anyways online. Because yeah. it's it's too big for them to to not do that. But you can describe the atmosphere. You yeah, know, like we're, describe it in your your whatever it is you're writing. Yeah. You'd get some fan reactions, stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. Seeing uh, yeah. the second teaser for Force Awakens in that crowded theater was an experience that I'll like no one else could have could have like described to me. I'm like, oh, that's great, and actually feel it. So it's it's just really really cool to be around so many great people and you know and hopefully you know because yeah. when I went the spinoff day which was that Sunday Josh Trank wasn't there because he was quote unquote sick because mm-hmm. and I know we all know that, <laughs> that that wasn't true so it was a little awkward but they did show us some footage of uh, Rogue One which I think at the time it was called something different. But that was never released to the public. It was. It wasn't. It nothing from the movie. It was like a little. It was where like they pan up to the death. Yeah, shot, yeah. Right? Was that ever yeah. released? Yeah. Uh, there was a leak. There's, footage. There's a, there's yeah. a leak. I remember watching yeah. the leak footage a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But but still, yeah. It, it, it's a really cool experience, and you know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of great other events that they have there. But definitely the main hall stuff for sure. Okay. That's dope. All right, man. Cool. Is, it, is this Evan DeGraff? Yeah. <laughs> what, you said you had Logan beef. What does that mean? Wait, did right. you just look at his I'm fucking just, Twitter? No, What's he, going he, on he, here? he messaged me. He said, y'all taking calls. I have some Logan beef. Oh, oh. Ooh. He said, yeah, brand of beef at the at, grocery store. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Well, Peter, it's got such a perfect movie. Logan is the best movie ever made. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, he's about. got beef with you, bro. Oh, you're talking about beef he's, with he's me? He's got, yeah, beef, with he's got you. beef with you. <laughs> why do you hate Logan oh, so much, man. dude? Did you watch, Brian, did you watch Brian, the behind the scenes video? Why do you hate Logan, Brian? Yeah, of course. Thank you for watching that, by the way. I didn't say. Oh. Oh. Well, okay. we've got to do the camera thing, but I didn't say. Don't, don't acknowledge it. We got it up we gotta, on the air. God damn it! Okay, can you I, change it? I was being, I was joking when I said you Logan. Use a DSLR and it goes every twenty fucking seconds. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I was joking when I said Logan wasn't a good movie. It's a great movie. I'm just saying it's not the perfect movie. Are you kidding me? It's the most perfect movie in the world. It's better than Casablanca. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. See, I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> yeah, I'm messing around. Uh, I, I, I yeah. think you clearly got the gist of that video. I think uh, there unlike, are a lot of people who Unlike did. a lot of people who were commenting that did not get the thought, gist of that. They thought, we were thought they were genuinely serious. <laughs> okay. Wait, people people who genuinely thought that beauty was genuinely yes. serious. Yes. He yes. loves the damn <laughs> movie. He tweeted about it days before. He loves Logan. I gave it a 9.5, which Mark <laughs> copied my score. Yeah. 
No, I don't. I don't know about that. <laughs> he said he, he said he gave it a ninety-five. I'm just saying he must have got that from somebody. I'm he, pretty sure he saw the movie before oh, you yeah. did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> I, I literally have to read this one comment. It okay. says, okay, uh, "This is why I hate. This is why their channel is shit and they stink. They don't know what a good movie is. Like they need to shut the fuck up." Holy Did crap. you watch the fucking video? <laughs> Did you watch the reviews? Oh my god! Uh, but right. but there are some oh. comments where they're like I think there's going to be a wave of hatred going against because Logan is so like up there now. People are like, "No, nah, it's not that good." Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be backlash. Yeah, yeah, I, I that, tweeted yeah. that too. I was like, "Yes." Yeah, Okay. Funny yeah. question about fans. So, Kyle, it seems like you're kind of like the watcher of, of like all the where'd you go? Of like the down like fan groups, or the Schmoville fan groups. Mm-hmm. Which one is like the most annoying, or one that like bothers you the most? Wait, hold on. What do you? What do you? What, do you, what, what, you, what type of fan bothers him the most? Is that what you're asking? No, no, no. What fan group? Like, I don't like. Oh, of like fan groups. Oh, I mean, look, I mean, you know, they <laughs> I, I wouldn't say uh, annoying at all because, you know, the people are very passionate about movies and the things that we do. And, you know, there's a lot of times there's been a lot of back and forth between whether it's yeah. on the Schmoville page or the movie trivia Schmodown page. You know, people just, you know, they want to start a conversation. And look, the, the thing is, is when you're like on social media or if you're like texting someone or emailing someone, it is hard to read someone's expressions when it's just through words on the internet. So I think it's just people, you know, misinterpret how things are actually said because, you know, there's no there's no actual expression. So if I say like RB3, I didn't really like your video. But like, if if you heard me actually say it like that, you know, it's just honest, yeah. and mm-hmm. and and not like if you if you just see it, if, or if someone writes it all in caps, I don't like your video. Like, you know, there's yeah. no way there's to no interpret. Nuance. No, none yeah. at all. Never use the all caps. Never use no. all caps. No, no, I, I use that. I do I do that on purpose, just to, on, on sometimes. <laughs> but I, I never generally mean it. But yeah, no, no one really, no one really ever annoys me. You know. I no, it, no, it's funny. There's a point in time where that where the movie trivia showdown page was like really unhealthy, but then now it seems like that page is becoming better than Schmoville. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. And I mean, discussion. I to say about that. I like Weird. all of them. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I like all of them too. You know, and and I respect your opinion for that. Um, and I hope yeah. you know one day that you go back and and you know maybe just start a conversation with people and you see what they say. But even like starting a conversation like that, some people will come out and lash out and do the things. That's just that's just the genesis people- of the internet. Yeah. So, all right. All right. Thanks for calling Thank in, you, Brian. Evan. Or Thank Evan. Evan. I called him Brian. I was God. looking at Brian when I said it. That's I'm okay. sorry, That's Evan. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks for calling in. Uh, hopefully, you're a Buccaneers fan next time you call in. Just saying. I want to meet another one. <laughs> thanks for taking my call, guys. I'll right. talk right. to you later. Buddy. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye. All right. That was great. Arby, how's your orange juice doing, buddy? Is it oh, good? I'm actually good? done with it now. Oh, yeah, yeah, we should have yeah. got you another you one. Want some water? Uh, no, I'm Damn good. I'm good. Sure? Actually, yeah, I appreciate that though. You good on beer? You good on beer? I'm good. I'm good. I might have another one just a second. You're not done with that one yet. I said in a second. Okay, sorry. Right, okay, <laughs> he'll be done with it in a sorry. second, and then he'll get another. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't drink as often, and when I do, it feels good. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it feels pretty good. All right. Um. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I don't know if we're still talking about barbers and whatnot. But like, <laughs> <laughs> it's trying some, to move on. But yeah, some, go ahead. Something just come to your mind. <laughs> no, no, no. I, no, I was literally just going to say, like, if uh, there's a bunch of people on Twitter who are, like, asking questions, like, if you wanted to. Hmm. I don't know. That's oh, like the, 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 what do you mean? the tweet that I tweeted out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, usually how the show works is we do the Twitter questions at the end. I are you, are you, I know, are you familiar with the show, Rob? I, know I usually don't watch. Uh, oh. but, um, <laughs> no, you don't watch our show. I know show. we don't have structure, but okay. we usually, that's pretty on point. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's the one thing that... that don't worry. Okay, don't, right, I'll, I'll leave the ship. Don't I'm worry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Someone's yeah. got it. You know, all right, yeah, yeah. We got the my captain. Bad. We got the skipper. No, I'm the captain. That's the engineer, man. That's the skipper. I'm the skipper? Which one's the skipper? I don't know. It sounds fantastic, though. Yeah. Skipper. and Gilligan. So You're not Gilligan. Captain. Oh, okay. The skipper is the captain. Yeah, that's right. Oh, is he really? Skipper Damn it. Captain. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. skipper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cute little, oh, you're yeah. my first mate then. You're my seaman. Uh, <laughs> Do you like that one? That was I good. Did. It was like, <laughs> I, I didn't like that. Arby, like, Arby 3 liked that one. He really liked that one. I called, I called him Arby. Arby. <laughs> Arby. Arby really liked that one. Last thing about food. Oh, you guys like Arby's? Nobody likes no. it. Oh, man. No. Felipe's? I like the curly fries. Roast pretty good, yeah. You guys want to go to Felipe's? I mean, dude, no. the Metro's fucking right here. I want to go. They're so bad. You know, I feel like you invited us over only to you know bring us to Felipe's. Apparently. No, you're just really to record the podcast this. and okay, get the hell okay. out of my fucking. Okay, apartment. fair enough. All right. By the way, your apartment is really nice. By the way. Thank you, no. thank you, appreciate it. Well, first time okay. being here. You like the lights yeah. we got going for you? We're trying, yeah, to, yeah, we're yeah. trying to seduce yeah. you with production this value. Yeah. You know, I want to I want to spice things up a little bit. You didn't have to bring attention. That's a fucking M for those of you who can't. <laughs> um, it's the same shit. You get the fucking idea. Wanger's W. 
Um, this is like literally the first thing I noticed when I clicked on your video last week. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank like, you. For, that looks like an upside down anime. <laughs> well, thank you for watching that. And all of you for who watched the very first episode of that, thank you for watching that and dealing with us. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the likes, all the comments on there. Uh, Views is doing pretty good. Very happy about that. Mm -hmm. Let's keep getting them up. Yeah. Let's be the number one podcast on the SK+. <laughs> Plus ask, let's, be the one let's be, let's be the number one. <laughs> you know, if you believe in miracles, we definitely can do this, Oh, guys. I don't know. Okay? It's, it, I mean, on. we got some good competitors yeah, out there. You know tough. what I'm saying? So, we can do it, I believe. I think we can do it. I, I think believe. Totally. for the ratings. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's the fucking sound bites. Where they've been? Yeah, Brian, you've been dropping the ball the first 20 minutes of the show. I haven't found the right moment to drop Oh, I was going to say, I haven't found the sound bites. like Show um, you in the Google Doc where they are. No, um, I know where the sound bites okay, are. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, I know where they're. Okay, why can't you ever <laughs> find the intro song? Because I'm always the one who has to play mm -hmm. the damn intro song. You can never find that one. <laughs> <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone, happy. someone said in the comments on that happy. on that behind the scenes video that you look like Odor Odor Fur. I can't say his oh, name. Oh, the guy from the Mummy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what uh, Jeremy John said. I look like. Yeah, him. yeah you yeah. do look <laughs> like. Him. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Interesting. Isn't he right. Egyptian, some some of that sort? I don't know if he don't really know. is Egyptian. Oh, is that racist to assume that he played <laughs> No, Egyptian no, guy but he mummy? did he played. I mean, they whitewash all the time, so you never fucking know these days. So uh, but yeah. back in then the, the mummy, you never know. So. Oh yeah. yeah. He was in a Deuce Bigelow, male jiggle. He was, yeah. yeah. Hey, like, fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Hey, by the way, <laughs> they, don't, you, they don't like that. The, the free, I think we're the only show who's ever talked about Deuce Bigelow. Well, we have a whole sound bite know, dedicated know, for it. I know. Oh. You know the JT the, the JT freak one, but every time yeah, I, he yeah. comes on, I say we do the freak. <laughs> yeah. That's from Deuce Bigelow, Male yeah. Gigolo. So. It's a great movie. All right. So <laughs> no one else has seen Kong Skull Island except me and Cody. No, nah. nah. I really want to see it, but I was really excited to see it until the reviews came out. And there's a lot. Like, there's a lot more backlash coming at it now. I, everyone said it's like a kind of like a B movie sci-fi movie. Oh the, yeah, the characters aren't very it's fun. great. It's, it's, it's really fun. fun. Uh -huh. Just didn't love it. It's it, fun. Though. It's almost hilarious how serious the trailers were. Mm. I'm trying saying. to make it look like an apocalypse now or it's like a Vietnam. Like the trailers. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> like there's there's great moments, like you know, in the trailers, great shots and everything that you know, like oh fuck, that looks cool. But yeah. the movie is so fucking goofy. It is so nothing. Even because the the first this makes the first Godzilla look like the original fucking like it, it looks makes it look like a, look masterpiece. a masterpiece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because the first Godzilla is very straightforward. It's very serious. It's a very dark tone. What do you mean the first Godzilla? Like the, the 2014, 2014, the Gareth Edwards. Oh, movie. okay, yeah. yeah. I thought you were making like 1999 Godzilla 2000. Oh god, no, that doesn't <laughs> no. exist. Come on, you, you, thought, just you thought Zilla? that was the first Godzilla? No, there's like no, okay. No, I'm, okay. I was wondering because there's been the original so many, Godzilla came like, out in 1954. It's called Gojira. Gojira. Okay, and yeah, Kong was should like have been nominated for Best Picture that year. It wasn't. What's that? The original King Kong. Uh, original. Godzilla. Oh yeah, no, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, for, yeah, for for best, best foreign film at least. They didn't have Best Foreign Film. Back then. Didn't back then? Oh no. shit. That's I what know, I thought shit. you meant. The original Godzilla, but you're talking about the 2014. 2014. Yes. Edward. Okay. Yes. Um, and I and I like that movie a lot, but nothing has like no monster movie in a long time has actually reminded me of an old school monster movie than Kong Skull Island. Because mm -hmm. a lot of those old school monster yeah, movies, a lot of old school monster movies, like, you know, some of them have good characters and in good story. But for the most part, it's like, I don't give it like they're trying to build some hyper space weapon to kill the creature. It's like, no, I don't give a fuck. It's so stupid. Mm -hmm. And then when it gets to the monsters, it's a, it's a hell of a good time. And that's exactly what Kong Skull Island is. You know, and and it's entertaining. It's You're entertaining. Gonna, it's fucking okay. monsters fight, and yeah. it's fun. Does it yeah. look good? The the oh, Kong, the Kong, Kong looks, looks great. great. Yeah. Okay. The effects Kong look great. incredible. I think yeah. it looks great. Yeah, yeah. And but, I just uh, yeah. let me ask: Is somebody who 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 didn't like Jurassic World? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, you, you told me this multiple times, and I'm surprised you every time. You Robert. won't like this one. <laughs> it's exactly. It's kind well, of exactly like Jurassic. World. No, okay, but I think my main problem with Jurassic World is that like it had no tone. Like it had no like. Like, yeah. I, I will say Jurassic yeah. World is a lot more focused than this movie is. Right. But like Kong like, Skull Island is very sporadic. It almost doesn't know what it wants to be either. Oh, right. Because tonally with Jurassic World, I think there is a tone there. I think it gets some of the stuff humor-wise good. Kong Skull Island, a lot of the humor doesn't work. Like, mm -hmm. if you saw that first, uh, I don't know if it was the first or second trailer. Uh, I mean, it's the same with John C. Riley. John C. Riley. Yeah. If you thought that he was going to be the worst part about the movie, you're wrong. Oh, he's he, the best. He's the best part oh, about really? the movie. Okay. And that's not saying much because, like, you know, in the trailer, I didn't like how it kind of came off in that trailer. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I get it. Get John it. C. Riley's a great actor, though. He is. Like, he is. He, like, I wouldn't say that he, I didn't think that he was going to be the worst part. Oh. I didn't know what would be the worst. Did you miss your mouth with the, the beer? I meant to talk, and, and a little, you know, a little gist tank came down. So, I, what the hell? yeah. Um, There's but nothing no. better than a perfectly placed sound. Yeah, that that's was good. A good. It's one, about right? time. God. Yeah. Um, no, but because like because I remember seeing the the Comic Con trailer, 
And like, because before that, I didn't give a shit about this movie. I, I did not want to see it. Because I remember two years ago, Comic Con, they they showed a trailer for like Kong Skull Island. It was like this huge thing. I was like, oh. Before they had the panel. Before they had a panel. Okay. Before they had anything like released for, I was like, oh, okay. They're doing any of the King Kong. That's cool. And then you see the trailer for the first time. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. Because this I remember, looks pretty cool. It looks very serious. It looks like they're taking it serious. And then you see the movie. It's uh, not serious at all. Because I remember going to the panel. I don't know if you guys know. I was at Comic Con last year. Oh, uh, good. For did you, you just sound your own sound sound by sound by yourself? Yeah. No, that was Cody doing the sound bite. I, uh, my hands were clearly right here. Okay. No, but when we went to Comic Con last year and they had the Kong Skull Island panel, they did. They showed the trailer and then the director came out and spoke about it. And the way he looks he, exactly like me, by the way. He does. He does. If you grow out that beard for a couple of years, yeah. Yeah. And the like, way he spoke about like how he created the movie it really got me excited for the movie yeah but i guess that doesn't mean anything well, see for not. me like i Thank think you. i'm more interested in this than i would be in drastic world because like at least like this movie looks like it has like 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 the way it's shot it looks like it's like it, it has like a certain vibe to it you know like it looks like apocalypse now right like it has it's got like, a good kind of color Vietnam. palette it, yeah. yeah i mean yeah like th- for me that's interesting because like for me, it was like Jurassic World was like, here, put the camera here and shoot some CGI. We'll we'll put it in later. But like for for like something Robert, like, no, like you're, you're breaking my heart for man. like for like something like Kong ah. Island or like even Godzilla. Like even though I wasn't the biggest fan of the movie, I still liked it because it it felt like it had like a, a tone and atmosphere. Well, yeah, the first Godzilla, there was a buildup. There was genuinely good buildup. I mean, we talk about this all the time. Like I can still go back and rewatch that because the buildup is still really good, and especially the the last thirty minutes of the movie. But the last 30 minutes of the movie doesn't make the movie good for me. I think I, I generally like the story that I like, they're telling. Yeah, and, and I, I don't do like the li- characters. I like the teasing of the yeah. Godzilla. I, I actually think it's kind of fun. annoying for me, though. I think it's yeah. fun. Yeah. I know, and I, and I understand it. I, and I totally understand it. I respect your opinion. You it's for me, it's like yeah. songs that like slowly... But it's shit. That no. are like, <laughs> when you listen to a song that slowly builds up, and in the end, it's like fucking incredible. Yeah. Like, that's what I view Godzilla as. It's like a like, 14 uh, movie as. Where it's fun, like you enjoy the ride up to it, and then it just makes the ending that much more satisfying. It's like a free bird, you know? Like Freebird. It's like Freebird. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's good. a good that's a good one. You might remember playing that on Guitar Hero? Oh, can never oh, do it on an expert. Shit. You guys ever played that I, no, ne- I, I did it on hard. It. I can never do it on an expert though. And RB3 never, never played Guitar Hero. I don't know why I'm pointing at like you weren't even born. I have, yeah. They played DJ Hero or something, no? No, I have not Guitar Hero. I have to That's not racist, I'm just saying. He's black. He's gonna do DJ. You're the one who's bringing that shit up. No, they a lot of white DJs. I I used to I used to love uh the you know how they have rock band and they had a guitar hero? Oh yeah. And like but when when Guitar Hero like started making like the rock band like, mm. like yeah. the drum set yeah, the and drum, all that. I remember having the drum set and just like loving that dude. Dude, like, I was, was good fun. at that one. Yeah, 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 that that yeah. drum set was better than the rock band one. I yeah, learned, it was, yeah. It was. I learned yeah, how to play drums yeah. based off of rock. Really? Band. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I learned tempo at least and, and rhythm. Uh, oh, good. Whoa, all right, all these playing. <laughs> oh, man. You already played that one. Um, <laughs> all these but are playing. Get your now. shit together, Brian. But yeah, I don't know. RB3. I mean, I would say go try it. Because at least, okay, here's what I'll say is because, yeah, Jurassic World is just like put the camera there, let's put CGI in later. Jurassic World's a good movie, guys. It gets, I like, it's, I like, it gets a bad rap. I like Jurassic okay? World a lot. I, but but with but with Kong Skull Island, there's actually someone like someone actually plays Kong. There's actually motion capture. Uh, I know yeah. Toby Kebbell helped out. He was an advisor on it. I don't know if he actually did anything. And I forget the guy who did the motion capture for Kong was the same guy who played Rocky in um, Rocky. Rise of the Rise of the Planet of the Apes. No. <laughs> Rocky, Rocky, what? Rocky 4? Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Rocky yeah. Rocky was uh, Caesar's like, uh, uh, I think Caesar's either like son's friend or like uh, a Are friend. Are they just typecasting these yeah. guys from like Planet of the Apes? Is like well, yeah. Is like, you want to be an ape? You want to be an yeah. ape? For a second, <laughs> yeah. I, for a second yeah. I thought you thought that Kobo was Rocky and I was like, where'd you get Rocky no, from? No, no, no. <laughs> no, but it, it, it was a guy who played one of the apes in Dawn and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Okay. So, okay. See, like for me, like I love the, the 2005 King Kong. I like that movie. It's too. good. Yeah, yeah. And I think a little like, long. It's yeah. good. See, for me, like when I'm watching the, the trailers, like on like a little phone screen for or whatever for Kong, like I think the effects look kind of cheesy. Whereas like the King Kong, like from 2005, still looks pretty good for me. But I'm guessing when I watch in the theater, like the effects look a lot better. Like, yeah. I mean, Cody and I saw it in IMAX 3D. I know that's not ideal for most people. I I didn't mind the 3D. I thought it was actually. I thought it was actually pretty good. Can you guys do 3D? I love 3D. I fucking I hate watch, it. I, hate I watch it. everything. I don't mind 3D. it. I, don't I hate it. it. Yeah, it, it depends. It, it, my my eyes were killing me within the first five minutes mm. of that of Kong. It just it depends, was, yeah. really. I mean, if the movie earns it, like obviously something like Avatar is something like, oh, cool. You know, it's an it's an actual experience, but you know, there's nothing better than old school. Just, you, you just saw Tron and Tron Legacy, right? Yeah, I love Tron Legacy. Do you? I fucking it was love okay. that movie. It was fun. It's unbelievable. How Did much you go to that, that screening? No, I didn't know. Oh, and no, I, I, I was so friend. mad because I kept like 
kept like subtly commenting like, yeah. "Hey guys, you know, it'd be kind of cool." Yeah, I, I would love to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have that movie on Blu-ray. I love that movie, man. Really? I remember wow. seeing that movie twice. That was uh, the first time I ever saw it. You know that, right? Really? Yeah. Oh man, I love it. It's love okay. It. I mean, I actually like Garrett uh, Headland. Headland, sure. Why not? I, yeah. I, I like. He's pretty good in Four Brothers. You he's, ever seen Four Brothers? Yeah. He's good in Four Brothers. I like that. First R-rated movie I saw in theaters. Oh, is it really? Four really? Brothers, yeah. Ooh, I want to bring that conversation up. First mm-hmm. R-rated, but after that. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, just, I never saw the first one, so there were some things that I just didn't get. And then after yeah. a while, I was like, oh, that's Tron. Like, that guy was in the first one. Okay, cool. Yeah. But yeah. First one was okay, but Tron Legacy, man. But I mean, if you had a problem with Rogue One, Uncanny Valley, holy shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, but like. Holy uh, That was like at the same shit. time, the first of, ones to do it. But they're yeah. like inside of a computer, so like you can that's also understand more it too. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. 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 I, I feel like a lot of the minimalism in that movie is also like justified to like, I feel like. That's the only movie that I could get away with having a complete like CGI black background. It's like some like French like like. Yeah, I get that because they, like, they're kind of technically in a video game, but like yeah. all the all the effects look great. Yeah, but when they're yeah. you know when they're jumping in the and the costumes, the uh, costumes, costumes are really costumes. great. Yeah, because I mean the because the director came out and talked about it after the movie. He was saying like all the battery packs were fucked up. Each set, like they had to really? recharge them. They only had like an eight minute lifespan. Oh my god! So, like, it's it's it's, it's kind of cool stuff, but like. Hey, the, the, there's a huge difference of that, like because he's on, like he's a actual character like that. Throughout the young Jeff Bridges, I mean, mm-hmm. uh, it, and like you're right in front of his face. Yeah, and it's just. But I mean, they ah. they they're they're pushing it to the next level, but I think yeah, yeah. I think I don't know. I think I for that movie that. It was, and plus I think in theaters it played. I I, I, don't know, I guess you did see it in IMAX, right? But yeah, for me, well, and, and laser, laser, laser projection, not, laser project. I was like uh-huh. laser disc. Yeah, yeah, um, laser vision. Yeah, like the true form that it was supposed to be in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, like when in, and I guess when I saw it, it was in theaters. It was one of the first times like seeing that. So it was kind of like the next step. And I was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. Okay. Even when I watch it on Blu-ray, it still looks kind of. Okay What's funny me, though but... is the director said he actually kind of regrets doing that. Really? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, was... I don't, I don't, I don't. I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but you know, I'm sure people could see. But I think I don't know. I think that's just one of the most underrated. Movies uh, mm. recently, is it's like fine. It's yeah, I don't, fine I, I don't hate it. Yeah. yeah, I don't hate it. I, I don't, feel I don't like care it, for it, seeing more, but it, it, it climaxes too soon with that giant like Hey-o. sequence. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. but but with that giant, yeah, that with that big sequence in the uh, the first sequence, yeah, and after that, the movie kind of just like falls. Oh, oh when falls they have like that big like arena fight. Like, yeah, when he first gets there, yeah, and then yeah, after yeah, that, yeah. like then he meets Olivia Wilde, and then it kind of gets just really falls. Oh, away. Olivia Wilde, <laughs> shut up! What are you doing? <laughs> are you still I'm still going on about the climax. <laughs> joke. I'm sorry. Uh, we're very mature. Here. Yep. I just on the Wanger show. Anyway, coming in hot. So Olivia Wilde is really good. In oh, movie, like she's you see, so guys. hot yeah. in that movie. Yeah, she is good though. She is good. She's got like a playfulness, playful. But it's just it's so fucking weird that like she like the end of the movie like she was part. She's spoiler. Is it okay? No, it's yeah. seven yeah, years it's old. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? It, yeah, like, when she comes out of the computer. Yeah, like, she's like I a human. It. She's yeah. like she's uh, like like she's gonna awesome. eat for the first time. I don't know. Like, <laughs> she's eat for the first time. Yeah. What would you What would you take her to if you're gonna be like, all right, we gotta get you some food? Yeah, go in. Do and you out. go Pizza Hut? I go in and out. But where, where are they? Do you go gondolas? I think they're supposed, they're supposed to be in LA. Gondolas. It, it was in LA. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. LA. All right. Hmm. So you gotta go somewhere like a LA, like a Barney's exclusive. Beanery. Where Barney's do you go? Beanery. There's one in Pasadena. Right a here. Pink's Hot really? Dogs. Mm. Roscoe's ah, Chicken I Waffles. Been, I haven't been a fan. Ooh, Roscoe's, Roscoe's shit. Yeah. Roscoe's, yeah. Oh, it's so good. I have never been a fan of Pink's hot dogs. It's, I'm not crazy about it. No? It's fine. Yeah. It's just a hot or dog. Or King Taco. Like shit on it. King Taco's great. Ah, oh, I don't get it. Let's get let's pick up this argument that me and him had. Dodger dogs. Overrated uh, or incredible? I mean, I think they're really good. They're good. They're good, but, but there's nothing really special about yeah. it. Okay? Well, they're really long. And I've been to a Dodger game. I've had a Dodger game. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. I'm trying no, to have a mature good. conversation here. It says Climax oh, now, over now here. You now you're going to be fucking guys, mature. Guys, oh, guys. Okay. Oh, Climax. <laughs> the fucking long dogs. No, don't do that, dude. Come on, man. You don't want to offend all those fucking beef haters. <laughs> so Dodger dogs, guys. Shit like a corn dog or a hot dog or a hamburger, you can only go so far with it. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I, I know what you mean. Cause like, you gotta like, push the limits with a hot dog. Like, man. I can't stand like, like gourmet hipster hamburgers. Like, give no. me a fucking gross, greasy ass yeah, burger. Yeah. yeah. No, give me like a fancy bun mm-hmm. with no sesame seed. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Don't give me that shit. I like man. those like ghetto shops that have like the, the, you have like a colossal burger with like the pastrami. Dude, one like, time we went to mm-hmm. Islands. He got a, it was the first time he ever been to Islands. <laughs> I was so excited for him. I was and so happy. He got yeah. a burger with uh, 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 just the meat. 
um, what did you pineapple order? and barbecue that? sauce and, and bacon and bacon and bacon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so weird. So no, no, cheese. Cheese. no cheese. No cheese. No cheese. No, no, no. I don't fuck with cheese. Didn't you no. like order? You. Didn't you order like a burger? It was like a barbecue chicken burger, but you like took everything off. And well, it was like a, it was else. a barbecue. It was a it was a it was a was bacon like that, burger. Right? Yeah, it was, yeah it was a bacon burger, but I basically had to tell him like take all this off, okay. and replace it with this. You know, like, yeah, <laughs> that was that, awesome. Nobody had what I wanted. Yeah, I do that too. I just get everything plain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, I don't want to fuck all that meat, that extra shit. I don't, want, I don't want all that meat. Nah, Go nah, back to yeah. pizza conversations here. Toppings. More than two? Are you crazy? No. I'm, I think no. you are. I think We're, more than two toppings, you got to draw the fucking line there. Guys. Yes. Okay. Simple. It's pizza. Simple. Enjoy the sauce. Yeah. Pepperoni. Yeah. Pepperoni. And sausage. Pepperoni. You can throw sausage well, I mean, I, or bacon I like in there. Bacon I can use some sausage. sausage See, then you're getting yeah. three, Cody. Yeah. You just broke your rule. Three. No, hold, I what said about sausage pa- or bacon, oh, okay. Brian. I thought you were Hold on. I've been to Pizza Rev with you plenty of times. Pizza Rev's a different story. That's fucking Chipotle for pizza. You can throw whatever the hell you want. Okay. I'm saying if you're getting Pizza Hut or Domino's. RB3 is bringing order. Okay. What's What is your thoughts on pineapple pizza? Disgusting. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Are you You're kidding me? No, it's horrible. Oh, that's, dude, that's, that's, no, you don't, like, you don't you mix. You bite into something beautiful and then it just kicks you in the yeah. balls. It's, it's, it's awesome, oh. man. It, you know, like you know, get like the, the, no. the, the, the. You can't mix you sweet with not sweet. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? But I feel like no. I feel like pieces can be sweet. You know, like no. you, you put uh, some, some pepperoni. Some, some, no, but uh, it's like. Am I crazy? It's like cold stuff. It's like cold on pizza. It's a fairly popular thing. Pineapple on pizza is pretty popular. I just can't stand it. No, it's gross. It's horrible. You guys are going to join into the movement soon. Trust. You movement? Wanna, are you starting something? Do you want to throw some apples on there? You, wanna, yeah. you will not start a movement <laughs> in this house. Man. Wanna, <laughs> no way. Do you want to take a this call and see if he's on your side? All right, yeah, let's yeah, do this. Right, right. We got a call from 405. All right. Well, welcome to the Wanger that. Show. We are talking about pineapples on pizza. It's disgusting, but do <laughs> you best. like it? And who do we have on the phone? That's probably should lead off with that. <laughs> who do we have? Hello? Uh, my name is Wiley. And yes, I do like pineapple. Oh, yes, Wiley. Brian, Thank hang up, hang great. up on him. No, oh, I'm just kidding. Just oh, sorry, man. the line's cutting off. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why is it that you like pineapples on uh, Wylan? Was it Wiley? Wiley. Wiley. I've called in like two times before. Yeah. Oh, okay. Stuff. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> we're we're drunk. We're drunk. You didn't know him. Yeah. I didn't know. Him. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you for so much for calling in, Wiley. And um, look, man, <laughs> why why the why the pineapple? Why you gotta disrupt your pizza like that, man? <laughs> Okay, so let me explain. Please do. On pizza, it is just bread, cheese, and tomato sauce. Whoa, whoa, yes. That's whoa, all whoa, it is. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. It's not just it, cheese. It's okay. mozzarella, okay? <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm are, sorry. You, are you forgetting but the crust? I know, I know the crust is technically the bread. It's, it's not, not just bread. bread. It's, it's, I know it's technically bread, but it's, it also it feels like something more. It's okay, like a, it's so like a, go it's like a fluffy go pillow. On. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So you're sitting there with a huge pizza with all that stuff, one piece after another. Add pineapple gives more concentration to the pizza Ooh. and gives it more taste. Yes, and have you will have a better experience with the pizza because there is more to it. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. okay. Robert's in here just Robert's nodding. So like happy right like, now. Yeah. Somebody's finally got him. Uh, no. <laughs> He's coming on the movement too. It's just like, <laughs> There's no movement. I think, <laughs> it's a pineapple movement. I think just like when you when you bite into a pizza normally, it's just such a wonderful experience. But the pineapple is such a such a it's jarring a, it, difference. It's a distraction. You know? It's I like, agree. what the it's hell a, it's is that? It's a distraction. You know? yeah. Because, yes, a pizza is nice and soft sometimes, and then you get a little pineapple cube it's right like, there. Oh, it's like, oh, ooh, what's, what what's is that? this? Yeah. 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 It's like a June bug <sighs> popped up on there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, man, I it, disagree. It, it feels like you're biting a bug. It's, it does. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like that's mushrooms for me. Like, Oh, I don't like mushrooms either. We can all be unified on that. Wiley, do you like mushrooms on your pizza? No, I don't. Thank okay, you. All right, you're really back in our good graces. Okay. Uh, Wiley, okay. Wiley, we got to we got to get some pizza sometimes. <laughs> we, we know what we're talking. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, do that. You're yeah. not getting pizza today, or RB3. I was oh, gonna order it. Oh then... no. Nah. Nah. Wiley, what's your go-to absolute best pizza? Like, what, like just you're going all out. You, you, you just had a night of drinking. You got a hangover. You need some grease. I don't know if you can drink, but you need some grease, and you want to get a giant pizza. What do you get on it? Well, every. Schmo's night, which is Wednesday night now. I yeah. call it pizza night for me. So nice. on a typical Wednesday night, I would get a pineapple with bacon on it. Yes. Because oh, bacon's good. Bacon's if good. I get tired of the pineapple, I would take out the pineapple and just um, have the bacon and cheese pizza. But that's my like ideal pizza. Wow. And the best every part Wednesday. Of that, like I heard him say that. Like I get pizza every night for Schmo's. I'm like, that sounds like fun. I should do that. And I'm like, <laughs> we do Cody, do that. Cody, you work on the show <laughs> first yeah. off. First <laughs> off, you do work on the show, but then we do get pizza afterwards. We do. We do. Yes. With yeah. just one topping, that's true. <laughs> yes. That's pretty just awesome. Pepperoni. pepperoni. What'd yeah. you think? What'd you think of last week's show or this last Wednesday show? 
I liked it a lot. Um, I would have to say, it, but it's not my favorite. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. It's just, yeah. Great. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's enough time we have for it was, calls today. It was today. the audio, yeah. wasn't it? It was the audio. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't you know, it? Let's put 80 hours into the show. Yeah, it's okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. No, I'm just joking. That's fine. No, but, you're not going to get home runs every time. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is, oh, God. Wow, with you the broke the new Wanger table. Yeah. Okay. With the new Wanger table, I like that implemented more because it gets more um, contrast to what's going on in the studio. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. And... Mainly, if the main table's not that strong, um, the Wanger table is where Ooh. it kind of gets more contrast and makes it more fun and enjoyable of having your guys' input now instead of just the main table. That's I've amazing. always said that the Wanger table, the Wanger table, has always carried the slack. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, not yeah. ever said that. You have never said those words. You're horrible. In that order. You're horrible last or week. Or remotely. You, in that you tried order. talking on the mic last week. Your fucking audio wasn't even on. You're, you're oh, our no, audio. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> let me, you are our audio let me engineer. Let me say, and let me you say didn't something. Even have the mic on. When I'm not using the mic, it is muted. I should do that for Copster because when he's not talking, his mic oh, is on. I hear him all the time. I gotta meet him all the time. Yeah, yeah. you do. He's do that rubbing a lot. the microphone. He's yeah. scratching his beard. He's yeah. <laughs> he always scratches his beard right into it. Him and Riley. You him don't know Riley, what it. Him and Riley do that all the time. Cody, like, nice. you don't know what it's like, man. I don't. I don't. But you think he'd be more considerate? He's okay. taking a sip of beer right into the microphone. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna mute your microphone. <laughs> this is why last week's episode was so par, apparently. Okay, guys, come on. Sometimes you just don't. Don't recognize that stuff. A- after a while, I, I try to, but uh, the 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 on the mic like that. Yeah, it, I do I do that shit on purpose sometimes. Because <laughs> because I just like if you're watching us right now, like like Cody will be back here and, or or Brian, and I'll start I'll do I'll start doing this, <laughs> and then you just do, and then they're like, <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, God. So that's why I have my mic on mute when I'm not using it. Understandable. You still need to turn it on when you speak, yeah, though. I got that, a little excited. Okay. I, I might have climaxed too soon. Yeah, it, it feels pretty be the typical first for you. Yeah, yeah, okay. It would not be... Right. F- yeah. Anyway. Wiley, thanks for calling in. Wiley, thank you so much. <laughs> the, 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 that, was a, that was a great call. Um, don't get pineapple on your pizza, man. You're, you're better than that. <laughs> I, I have a life. question, though. Oh, yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. They, they were supposed yeah, to ask I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> just, just yeah, the question. Ask question? So, <laughs> so um, I have a podcast called The Cinematic Podcast, and I have recently oh. had RB3 yeah, on my podcast. Yeah, I was there. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, so you were getting so much shit. You were on the guy's podcast. You didn't miss shit. Hey, 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 man, I'm sorry. And I was wondering no, no. if you guys would ever like to come on my podcast. Yeah, that absolutely. Would be awesome sure. just to have uh, one of the another winger crew on there. That would be sure. really cool. Absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah. DM, DM us on Twitter or Facebook, and we love Slide to Slide into on. our DMs. Tell us when you want us to come on the show. Jesus. <laughs> Don't make it, it was a show. Cool. Come on. <laughs> come on, sexual. guys. Slide into our DMs. It was, all right, whatever. It goes Slide this into, into your DMs. drink, kid. Okay. Oh. Whoa, okay, now you've gone too far. That's what you said. Pill I just, <laughs> <laughs> Slide this into your drink, kid. <laughs> all, right, right. <laughs> all right, Wiley, thank you so much for the call. We can't wait to be on your show, man. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. Later, man. All right. Check out his podcast, guys. Bye. Check it out. Yeah, it's it really good. <laughs> yeah. Check out the one with me on it because it was good. No, I bet it was. Was it? Do yeah, you remember? It like you really remembered that. Yeah, How high were you, yeah. when you when you did it? I wasn't high, dude. What are you <laughs> okay. talking about? Uh, All right. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Wiley. Thank you. See you, buddy. I hung up on him before he said that. Uh, God damn it, Brian. <laughs> no, because then if, if he did that like, three times no, last but week. If, if, he, if we let him say bye, he's like, oh, I have one more question. I'm like, no, you're, you're done. You're done. <laughs> he's a nice guy. So he mean. wants to talk I'm to sure us. I'm sure he's a great guy. I'm sure all he has right. lots of friends and everyone loves him. <laughs> but on this show, we don't have time for that shit. All right? <laughs> we got to keep the, move, the show going. Next, next topic. <laughs> what move, else do move, we have to talk about? Move the show going? We, we got to keep the show about. going. We have to move the show going. I'm drinking orange juice, and <laughs> I, for some reason, I feel like I'm the same level as these guys. Oh, God. <laughs> you don't want water at all? It's a fun show. Uh, no, I'm good. You want a beer? Get him a beer. You I don't want, want a beer. I'm not giving him a beer. Here, no. take a drink. I, 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 I'm this good. This is a public show that's going online. <laughs> I'm not going to give a minor, or not a minor, an underage person a beer. <laughs> you fucking minor. I can't even talk now. 14. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, man. So Netflix has been killing it. Oh, man. <laughs> it's just so good. Yeah. I actually, um, I, I'm going to bring this up. We're talking about apps earlier. 
Uh, I recently made a lifestyle decision. I have deleted Twitter and Facebook from my phone. Ooh. Wow. wow. Look yeah. at you. Yeah. Wow. How does it feel? How many, it how many days? It fucking sucks. How many it's days been sober? Like two days. Two days sober? And, oh, it's it's a real addiction. It's, 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 it's totally real. Because I know you don't yeah. you don't tweet as much or, I don't. or, or, or as as or check. Maybe you I, you probably check and it. And you don't text us back as much, but I'm I just don't. Saying. I no, don't. That, that is true. I'm not in a relationship with you guys. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to fucking. You are in a relationship with us. No, I'm not. You answer my text message, bitch. God. Anyway. But it it's really weird. It's totally real. You know, it's it's really an addiction that a lot of people have problems with. You know, it's. it's Real quick, like, I'm sorry, but well, Brian's, Brian's, Brian's recording, but the first thing he grabs is a fucking beer. <laughs> our camera <laughs> died. <laughs> our <laughs> camera died, and Brian's over here. Oh, hold on. Priorities. God damn it. Priorities, guys. Jesus if you God. wanted a beer, I have them right here. I can give them to you. I wanted to get it before I hit record again. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. And we're live. Yeah, we are. You're not, don't fucking pay attention to it. I, there, there looks like there's something on the screen, but I don't know what it fucking says. Are you good with battery? Yeah, no, that that's like that's an auto tracking thing. It's tracking. No, the I faces. see that, but I see there's something else in the. I'm, I'm, we're, we're not cutting this. No, we're not, no I'm, not, I'm not going to okay. cut it. There's I'm nothing on the screen. Okay. There's a record thing. <laughs> there's the there's the. <laughs> oh shit! It's my computer. Okay, all right. I can't see that far. Even okay. I have glasses. Okay, but we're yeah, not okay. this drunk, guys. So, Hold so, on. Let's, <laughs> get, let's get our lives together. It's so pretty loose. You deleted them. Both Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. You have Instagram still? I do, but I hardly ever use it anyway. So okay. Yeah. All right. It feels weird. That's like, what we're doing. You're right? taking a shit and it's like I don't have anything to fucking browse. Yeah, like like what's, <laughs> like what's the first thing you look at when you wake up in the morning? It's usually Twitter. It's, it's usually, usually Twitter, is, right? But now I'm like Yeah, what do you do now? Now I'm like enjoying my day. And oh like, wow, I'm going out and oh, trying shit. to do You probably have a lot more space on your phone too. You do. Yeah. yeah. You do. It's well, like, I mean, I I still I still go out outside and stuff. So. No, but you're not living your life because you're on Twitter. Yeah. Well, I'm on Twitter right now cuz I'm going to ask Twitter questions. No, but I'm saying when you do go outside and you're on Twitter, you're just not well, I don't go outside and just turn on Twitter like, like that. Like, it happened, like, I was hanging out with friends, and, like, uh, we're all sitting around, we're all on our phones, and I'm like, this is, I had an epiphany, I'm like, this is ridiculous. Well, that's yeah, why you is. say something, this like, hey, ridiculous. you fucks, get off your phone. No, I was like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a revolution here. The yeah, pineapple yeah, yeah. revolution. A movement. A movement. A movement. A movement. A movement. <laughs> that's a movement. <laughs> that's right. Uh, so, yeah, it's, I still have my accounts, I still use it on the computer, I have it open right now, uh, but I'm trying not to, you know, be on my phone all the time. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's an interesting yeah. experience. You should read on the toilet. Do you read on the toilet? No. Like an actual book? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. put an actual book you there. Put, yeah, put a book there. Idea. Put a Playboy yeah. there. Yeah, Does well, anybody read actual books anymore? I don't know. You have a few over there. I got a lot. Yeah. I got a good, good yeah. In nice college, they, they make you read books. That's good. Yeah. That's, That's good. Sucks, huh? Yeah. 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 What oh. book are you into? Uh, right now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Textbooks. <laughs> uh, are you not reading for fun? Um, Some of your, for fun? Not, not, not too much. Oh, uh, no. That actually, that was your about favorite to... textbook? Yeah. My favorite? No, no. We actually have some really good ones. I'm in this hip-hop music and culture class. Yeah. Oh, that sounds fun. Um, right. That was, uh, and we read this book, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, by like Jeff Chang. And it goes into like the whole history of like hip-hop origins in like the Bronx and like all over the world, like Jamaica influences and stuff like that. Mm. That's dope. And it's like... It's like a text. It's not like a. It's not like a textbook in the traditional sense. It's like an actual book, but we use it as a textbook. Interesting. And just so like deep and like really. And then when and you know recently we wrote a paper on the Get Down, the Netflix show. Yeah. And um and that a lot you wrote of wrote in like five minutes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> no, but in and um and through that book, what we learned it translates a lot into the into the Get Down. So it's like a really interesting. I remember oh, I had a textbook. Uh, the cover was no. Shut up! Shut up! Okay, this is a good story. It's a good <laughs> story. I remember I had a textbook. <laughs> you had a textbook. I went code. to college, guys. Yeah, guys sorry, I had a book, and the cover was a shot from Collateral, which is like my favorite movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh shit, this is gonna be awesome. I it was one of the really boring textbooks that you uh, had to ever read, but it was a cool looking cover. So they got you. Know, you. They got me there. But you don't judge a book by its cover. I don't. I, I tried it. I huh? tried it, and it wasn't. <laughs> No, I, should really, I should have judged. You should right. really yeah. judge a book by its cover. Sometimes it's just, there's some there's some things out there. You know what I'm saying? Right. What does that mean? What, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what was that voice too? What was the voice <laughs> in the face? There was an interesting combination. Was going with it. It's like yeah. Buffalo it's Bill. A, a bit. Yeah. Push fucking lotion. The fuck. Yeah. Favorite textbook? Do you have a favorite textbook? I just said what my oh my favorite textbook yeah. cover. I apologize. I apologize. I don't have a favorite textbook per se. I would mm-hmm. say. Uh... Yeah, I don't have one. I'm sorry. I wish I prepared for this question. I, you know. I know all the like. Remember all those giant literature books were very yeah. intimidating. Mm-hmm. There was one. I think there were cool stuff in. I there. think I think yeah. junior year was great when we. I think we read uh, uh, Beowulf. What, what How happened? did that move right behind <laughs> he us? Kicked it. Oh, okay. he, I saw it happen. I saw it happen. <laughs> oh, thank you. I thought the yeah. curtain just moved by itself. Yeah, <laughs> maybe okay. it did. Right. Uh, but yeah, there there was a Beowulf was I in there. I read Beowulf oh, yeah. senior year. Senior year, yeah. senior year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that the great one? Do you all have the same books? No, I had a great. Mine was like. Orange yellow. Okay, it wasn't yeah. We had Beowulf. Okay. We read Beowulf, and we
Because okay. you get Beowulf, you get his perspective, and then you get Grendel, you get his perspective. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Have you ever read? Have you ever read, Brian? Works, yeah. Have you ever read? Yeah, I'm kind of reading a textbook right now called Beyond Powerful Radio that tells you like how to create a like a radio podcast show and how to really? make it better and like uh-huh. the different personalities. Clearly, and... not doing good when you're not <laughs> turning on your mic. When you need oh, that's to be. that's that's. I wasn't gonna say it. That's, that's say chapter five. Okay, it tells you like open the microphone. No, no, no. Okay. I'm on chapter four. You right like now. more okay. of like the autobiography kind of stuff. Not not that that's an autobiography, but I know more nonfiction type more non-fiction. social sciences type mm-hmm. stuff. Like I like reading stories and fiction fictional stories, but I like reading about like philosophy or the mind or some stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, and, like Freakonomics. You like Freakonomics? No, no. Have you guys read Freakonomics? Anyone? No, I that's read a great book. That, no. But um, I, I will say, like for me, like I love um, you're talking about before the philosophy textbooks. You're talking about like uh, like uh, d- like being a radio host and stuff like that. I love reading books about like film and being in, into that kind of deal. Like I know Walter Murch has one uh, called In the Blink of an Eye. It's, oh, like, he, one of my favorite books. Like, editor of Apocalypse Now. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's a whole book about editing and, oh, wow. and kind of talking about. Kind of like the art of that and whatnot. So that's one of my favorites. And also Sydney Lumet has a book uh, called uh, On Making Movies. Oh, I read and that. I, I had yeah. that one in, in school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I always love like books like that. Those are just like my, my favorites. Yeah. And, okay. It's great learning about stuff that like you take for granted. Like the hip hop stuff. Like you don't know like where all this stuff came yeah, from. And yeah, like yeah. Learning about it. And you're yeah. like, okay, that's, that makes sense. That's yeah. where it came from and stuff like that. I brought this up a couple of times. I think you should really read... Stephen King's on writing. Oh, yeah. I know it's about I want it's, to. I want it's, to. it's more about you know fiction writing and everything, but you know he breaks down the structure about everything about it, like certain things that he doesn't like, which mm. you know people can obviously disagree to, but it's just interesting way. Like he'll he'll bring up a passage from like another book, like this is how it was written, this is how I'd write it. It's a little it's a little like mm. narcissistic at times, yeah. but it's it's pretty fucking. If cool. anyone can say that, it's Stephen King because yeah. he's Stephen yeah. fucking King. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but so. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I've been wanting to read that. One. You guys want to read off some of these Twitter questions? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. So what'd you do? You put out a tweet asking people to ask questions about RB3? No, Brian, then... Brian, you see the way Twitter works is uh you tweet something and people reply. No, but these are coming from a guy who deleted the app. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. No, but these yeah. are these are questions specifically for RB3, I guess. No, I just said I, I the, the tweet I put out was we're having RB3 on Schmoes on uh, RB3 Schmoes on the next episode of Wangers. Ask us any questions you want and we'll answer. Is that good for you? That's a good setup. Now let's go to the question. Okay. <laughs> he would have worded it differently, probably. Right. He's sitting yes. there being like, this fucking guy. He's, yeah. Fucking yeah. Guy. Anyway, what's the first question? All right. At Miss Movies, our good friend Miss Movies. Hey. When was the last time you cried and what was the reason for crying? I would probably, I think the last time was Logan. I was watching Logan. Hmm. Uh, she means all, in general. Though, uh, I, think. I know. I think okay. that was, I think that was the last time I cried. Last time cried. Okay. Gosh. Fucker. I, I understood the question. I know you cry a lot. Uh, I do cry a lot. Don't talk about it. Uh, for obvious reasons, though, I think Logan is, is the last time I did it. I don't want to say it, you know, for spoilers. Oh, but... uh, you don't want to say like which part? Spoilers. Okay, here we go. Uh, I did not. I did not cry during the Professor X scene uh, when he mm. passed away, but I did fucking lose it when Logan died, and then I really lost it when she turned the cross. I, I think I, that's, I was just uh, like, oh, I give up. I think that's yeah. when I probably yeah. teared up. I, I think I teared up when Kong just beat the shit out of a fucking monster. I think. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Yeah. I did. I did before. I, I cried tears of joy during Godzilla, though. Oh yeah. Oh, when no, he did absolutely. the fucking atomic breath, yeah. I lost my mind. That yeah. was yeah. spoilers. Yeah. Jesus, dude. Oh come on, shut up. All right. When, when was the last time you cried? I think it might have been Logan too. I might have choked up mm. a little bit because I didn't. It wasn't anything like, <laughs> but it was just like oh oh. You know what I don't oh. know if, if this happened after I saw Logan, but uh, the show This Is Us. Uh, oh yeah, makes you yeah. cry every fucking episode. Every episode, yeah. Uh, and the last one got me. Yeah. Arbitrary. When's good. the last time you cried? Um. Probably like last Thursday or something like that. <laughs> like I'm a very emotional person. No, oh, yeah, and I have a very high anxiety. So like, oh really? Whenever, yeah, whenever I look at like uh, an assignment that I have to do, I just like start like crying. Oh, that's oh, a bad yeah, cry. Oh no, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. So I'm I'm very much like that. So uh, you just get worked up. You're, and you're be... like I can't handle this, and like it goes on. Like yeah, that? yeah. Or just like when I start thinking about like career stuff, I'm like oh fuck, and then just you know. Well, you know what? You don't, get up. don't don't cry about it because you're on the right path. You, you are You're doing just fine. Hell of a lot further than any of us have ever yeah. wanted to get. So nah, man. you still have promise. You haven't disappointed anybody yet. You, you're, <laughs> yeah. doing just fine. Yeah. you're doing just fine. You're doing just fine. I appreciate that. Brian, Brian, when's the last time you cried? I was tearing up during the Logan part. Spoilers. Really? When when, when the when the little girl was talk giving the speech like, by Daddy? Yeah, yeah. The mm-hmm. speech by that. That's funny. I don't see you with a heart. <laughs> I was really? I was half I'm, expecting him to say like I don't really cry. I yeah, was, I was yeah, expecting yeah, him to say I that. I cry more than I really was. I don't really no, cry. I cry, I cry a lot of movies. The 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 uh, I cry like out of like 
pride or I don't know, like when something's proud and like a good feeling, like mm-hmm. at the end of Sing Street, spoilers. Oh, yeah. That's why I won't see it, I think, because I know I'm going to fucking cry. But it, I don't want to be at that place. It's not like an emotional, like, oh, my God. It's there's, like, there's one part that's going to get him so good. I'm not going to say it, but oh, there's one no. part that's really going to get him. Just like, like him crying? specifically. Because I hear it's something with brothers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's going like, to like, like, get you so fucking that's, good. That's the part where I was like, he's Especially like, since he's you're like, the older. Yes. And I'm like, okay, yeah. that's like that was, yeah. that was a great mm-hmm. moment. I okay. cried just like out of happiness. Yeah. And out, yeah. Of, out of just like pure, I, pure joy. I feel like if you saw La La Land like pre-hype, then you would have gotten emotional. Yeah, yeah I got emotional during La La Land. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Like pre-hype. But now I feel like you're just going to watch. What's the hardest you've ever cried in a movie? Simon Birch. It's a it's a good movie. <laughs> I was like ten when it happened. Oh man! Uh, I'll tell you a TV show. Uh, the Butterfree episode of Pokemon when yeah, when Butterfree man. leaves Ash. Spoilers oh, is uh, that episode <laughs> turned me into the man I am today, guys. I that, think, uh, oh man, I think I lost. It. I think uh, the finale of Lost. I cried. You cried during I that. I cried so fucking ah, hard. Okay. Oh, I love the finale. Man. I didn't cry. Oh either. man, it was so much mo- because because the very last shot and the last thing where it all kind of comes down yeah. to it's like oh fuck, and then they're all there in the church. It's yeah. Oh, shit's hard, man. How about you, RB three? For me, um, I think it was uh, like Christmas of like two thousand eight when it was like me and my mom used to like go to do double features on like Christmas. So we did a double features of that Will Smith movie, Seven Pounds. And don't say and Marley then, and Me. And then right after Marley oh, and Me. I knew it. Oh. And it just, oh, dude, it was like the motions from Seven Pounds that already was already like weighing on me. And oh. then Marley and Me, it was like, oh, dude. <laughs> I, I don't remember weeping that much in the movie. Oh. Yeah. I remember another movie. I was like in my college like apartment and I was just bawling the whole time. It was 50 mm. 50. With oh, Joseph yeah. Gordon Levitt. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's a great movie. And just like the, th- the stuff he was going through, I was just like, come on. Yeah. 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 Like, I remember yeah, uh, I saw it. No, no, don't give me shit, but The Fault in Our Stars is, a, is actually good, a good yes, movie. It's yes, a good movie. It is, yes. And I, I didn't like lose it in that movie, but the entire theater around me was. And like people brought tissues and shit. And there was one girl mm. who was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone like collectively laughed. And it was really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but it was awesome. Uh, that was an interesting all right. experience. Good yeah. to know. Oh, we're all cryers. Yeah, we're all, yeah. We're all yeah. Real men yeah. cry. I like yeah. when it's like uh, an earned moment, not where it's like, yeah. okay, now it's time to that cry. That one is trying yeah. to manipulate yeah, yeah, you. I, yeah. I don't like that one. Ryan M at Future is Zero asked, I have a question for the one they called Beardo. Usually uh-huh. he's disappointed by or hates movies. What <laughs> movies does he actually like? Here's the thing. Not the ones that he cries during. <laughs> when, you know when he starts off when he says, here's the thing. He's got, he <laughs> these, got some shit to say. These guys say I'm a negative person when it ta- comes to movies, but they're negative for only listening to when I talk about movies I don't like. I talk about a lot of movies I like. Have I not? I don't talk, think what, you have. Really. I talked about Logan. I talked about uh, Hacksaw Ridge was amazing. Okay, but, but, okay, but these Street are was recent, amazing. Okay, fair enough. Fair I mean, enough. these are recent movies. What about like movies that stand the test of time for you? Like what? Like movies that I love? Like, yeah, like I some of your my, all-time favorites. My favorite movie is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I okay. cried oh, during that movie yeah. at the very end when you... I don't know if I've ever have seen Have you guys it. seen... You know, oh, it's good I don't know if I've ever seen oh. it. Yeah, read the book, too. Read the book. The book's a good book, too. It's way different from the movie. Like Jurassic Park. Very different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of the cuckoo's nest in Jurassic I, I, Park. I knew he was going to say that. I knew he was. And I was like, he's going to say Jurassic Park. Not related at all. But he's going to say Jurassic Park. Now, we give, him, we give him shit all the time, but we know he actually likes movies. I love movies. Like, and, good yeah. movies. Apocalypse Now is a fantastic movie. Yes. And you're, I don't know yes. if I ever saw that yet. No, Do- I did see Dr. that. Dr. Strange Love is a hilarious oh, movie. Oh, Dr. Love Strange Love is fucking amazing. Kubrick. Yeah. Kubrick's yeah. yeah. Kubrick. 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 What's your favorite Kubrick movie? Me? Um, oh, that's a good one, actually. 2001. No, uh, no, no, not 2001. I'm going Shining. Really? Shining's my really? favorite one. Yeah. Mm. It might. I mean, Doctor Strange loves up there. That's that's probably think, my favorite. I, think I haven't Strange seen. Um, what was yours? What's the last one he did? The the naked uh, eyes wide shut. Uh, I, yeah. I never saw oh, it, but I, I but I heard that. just. I saw the naked parts because I was young. You guys ever seen? <laughs> AI seen, is not that great either. I, I know. Seen, I know. I actually, I, know trying, oh, I love AI. Man. I know it's Spielberg, and I haven't seen it in a while, but it always gave me a weird feeling. I haven't seen it. I love it. Barry Lyndon. Love it. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I haven't seen Barry Lyndon. It's pretty good. It's, it's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, it's Are one you, of the ones you, that you're like forced to watch. Full Metal Jacket's great too, though. See, I like that, but I saw that after I saw Apocalypse Now, where I'm like, Apocalypse Now is like the perfect Vietnam War movie, well, like, and then I'm like, Full Metal Jacket's okay for the first well, well, sequence, and then after yeah. that, like, it just Full Metal becomes, Jacket's like two movies. Like it, the first one's almost like a parody on war. Like, yeah, on that and on their whole because I always feel like Steve, uh, Scoop Scoobrick. Yeah, I was kind of finding their name. Take your time, Stanley. I always feel like. 
Kubrick's movies were o- always kind of parodies on specific genres, and v- uh, and uh, Full Metal Jacket felt like the prime example of that. Mm-hmm. Especially that first half, is when they're all in the training camp, and then when they get to act- when they actually get to Vietnam, it's just like. Eh, it's, I think it's it is pretty, generic. Think, yeah. yeah. No, well, I think it is. The, I mean, I don't want to say it's a parody. I think it's like a, a good, like a. Robert, you've oh, had too uh, much to drink. <laughs> <laughs> too much orange juice. Hold on, man. Uh, no, I think I think with uh, with all his movies, they're not necessarily like parodies. I think they're more like. Um, like, they're more like common commentary. commentaries. Yeah. Commentaries. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. 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 But so yeah. so for so for the second half of 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 um of Full Metal, Metal Jacket, Jacket. Yeah. It, it, I think the first half was like a commentary on like the actual training process. Then the second one is like here's Apocalypse Now, but like how like through Kubrick's like ide- uh, ideology of it, you know, like how he like, pictures it or how he yeah. wants to portray the the horrors of war. Yes. Robert, God Robert, damn it, Robert. Robert, Robert. Get your yeah, shit together, man. Well, that's Sorry, the thing with you. Kubrick or, well, I mean, obviously <laughs> with any filmmaker, obviously their movie is their vision. I, I it, 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 like the same thing with Kubrick. Kubrick is like 100% yeah. through his eyes. Mm-hmm. The Shining. He said, fuck off, Stephen King. I know you wrote this book, but I'm going to do it my way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, pretty cool that way but i think um for me my personal favorite is like one of his first ones uh paths of glory i haven't seen that i, mean, yet. I haven't seen that one that one's uh that one's like really strong i think his one... older films are in black and white aren't they yeah that was in black and white and then just... the killing was in black and white or those oh the killing was too oh yeah. then it's like four because he had fear and desire and because yeah. okay. i think a lot of people kind of forget how early he started on because that what, yeah. what year was, glory was uh, 57 yeah, yeah. so yeah. and he was going crazy. until like 97 right like yeah. that was mm-hmm. like, 99 i should say yeah but did you really like 2001 Oh, I fucking love really? 2001. When you first saw it or when you saw it again? When I first saw it, I was like, oh, mm, like I got to think about that. Yeah. And then upon second viewing and you watch it more and more and more, it's such a, like, I, I can't always revisit it. Yeah. Like, you, you, I think I could watch it at least once a year. But it's just, it's just when you're watching it and you're like, fuck, I'm watching something that is just a, a crazy experience. You know, and it, you know it's not that hard to get. It's just an evolution. That's all it really is. At the That's end of the why day. I feel like there's no real substance to it. It's just like his no, like, like, like mind fuck of a movie. It, it, it is the pure definition of style over substance. Yeah, it absolutely is. Because so it's what, like you like what 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 do you know about David the character? That's the main. I didn't even know his name like, was David. Like, what do you? Good morning, <laughs> David. You know, like oh, the, yeah, the so, Hal two thousand, Hal two thousand, or, or nine thousand. Excuse yeah, me, yeah. Hal nine thousand is like the most interesting character about the whole movie but yeah. the actual characters within it is like but that what, what can you tell me about that that doesn't Nothing. show up until like an hour and 40 mm-hmm. into the movie yeah. so like mm-hmm. the first half like first of all it starts with like an overture of like yeah. five minutes long it was like i i thought i was playing the dvd i was like is this broken <laughs> like, it's just like black screen it's and black just, screen with yeah. just music the whole yeah. time yeah and, no no it, it's it is 100 a a really like it almost feels like like narcissistic uh, artistic value, yeah. you know. It's like well, I'm going to show off all my. It'd be interesting tricks. to see how people would react if that was released today. Oh, it, you know it, what it, I mean? it's just well, it, even when it first came out, it like yeah. really yeah. polarized people. Like, yeah. well, that's the thing. Really like, like it. Nicholas Winding Refn is someone who reminds me a lot of Stanley Kubrick, who does a lot of the same things. But it, he's it, done Drive and uh, Drive, uh, Neon Demon, Neon one of my Demon. Um, um, uh, what's the Cody Wanna fight? Uh, Neon Demon uh, was him trying to be Stanley Kubrick. No, I really? feel like I feel like that's all I'm gonna say. I feel like only for a God forgives was him trying to be Stanley Kubrick. Oh, that was him not knowing what he was doing. Yeah, but, but, but that's uh, the thing though. He feels I like actually an, like only God forgives. He feels but. like an imitation of Stanley Kubrick. Uh, I feel like Christopher Nolan is an imitation of Stanley Kubrick. No, no. Well, way. I feel like I feel no. like Nolan's like the 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 child of like Kubrick. A and bunch of people. Yeah, like he's a common because actually. Nolan is an actor's director. Like he knows how to make good character. He knows oh, how to I don't direct. know about that. You don't think so? <laughs> I don't think he's an actor's director. You don't think so? Of Nolan? No, I think. Well, I think he gets like. I think he Ledger was like the standout. I feel like he cast. I think, just, I, feel, I, think, I think he cast really well. He cast really. He does. I think just more recently he hasn't been on his game. Like Interstellar was just fine. Well, well, I for love me, Interstellar, man. Oh, it's for just, me, I think he's uh, a great director. Mm-hmm. But as a writer, he's not the best because it's just yeah. all exposition. Like you know, well, I feel, yeah, yeah. I feel like, like the, his movies are bigger than the actors, whereas yeah. some movies like the actor is bigger than the movie. Like like, like Leo kind of fades bigger. into the background of Inception. A yeah, 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 yeah. I think oh, Leo's yeah. pretty great in Inception, though. Dude. He's good, but I, I he feel is. Like, but he's just he's Leo. He's a piece. Like Leo, because Leo, Leo's Leo's good and everything, but he's just Leo. He's like Tom Cruise. You know, he's the same person in every movie. He's the same. He's the same character in every movie, except yeah, yeah. the only thing, the most range I think I've ever seen him in is Django Unchained. Uh, but well, even I still, think Blood Diamond. Was, but even uh, I never seen Blood Diamond. Oh, he's but, but even great in Blood Diamond. But even still, it's like he's still Leo. He's great you know in Catch I mean? Me If You Can. He just yells yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So 
Ah, there we go. Boy, that went off. That was great. That was actually um, a really smart and insightful conversation yeah. between the four of us. Yes, we did a great I love job there. movies. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I was wondering how we got to that point. I was uh, like, what was the question that triggered this? Our Mark, our, our Mark, our buddy Mark Tordai. Hey, man. Uh, he says, What's your favorite film, TV show, book of all time, and why? Cody, favorite film, TV I like book. how you did this extremely like complex question and directed it to me first. Um, Jurassic Park is Cody. my favorite, my favorite uh, movie. <laughs> movie. Okay. Uh, you know, close to collateral. Sometimes I flip flop it. Uh, Jurassic Park favorite show. I'll go Breaking Bad. Mm, what was good. the other ones? Uh, book. Book. That I don't know yet. What else? That's why. And just why. Oh, like, no, you don't have to answer. I mean, the why. What was that one? Oh, just and why? why? Oh, okay, I'll get into that later. Because they're good. You guys, you guys go on. They're <laughs> great. Yeah, because yeah. I enjoy them. Yeah. Jurassic yeah. Park. I'm the same thing. Um, book. I got to think about. TV show. It's a flip flop. Lost is one of my favorites of all time. I know people give that show shit, but I love it. Book, uh, Frankenstein. Mary Sherry's Frankenstein. It's mm. a great Mary Shelley. Mary Shelley. You said Sherry. Did I say Sherry? Mm-hmm. Sherry. You ever seen Sherry. Jersey Boys? Sherry. It's pretty like, good. Like the uh, like the stage show. I, no, oh, no, not, oh. The stage not the. Movie. I thought you meant Clint Eastwood's. No, I thought no, the Clint Eastwood one was fine. That was no. kind of uh, uh, the, the show is quite good. Um, <laughs> favorite favorite <laughs> favorite movie TV show book. Um, okay. Film movie is kind of hard for me because I just I, don't yeah. have a number one. I, I, I get said that. it on the last show. Yeah. Um, so like I mean, up if, there for you. if it was like a top three, I would go Social Network, Do the Right Thing, and then maybe uh, I don't know something. It, it, That's a good movie. Yeah, I don't know. Great, <laughs> great movie. Ninety nine. Uh, what about 99? TV show? Um, TV show is definitely Lost. Or I'm not. not I'm sorry. Not Lost. Not Lost. Uh, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Yeah, but or, or the I Wire. Or the Wire too. The wire's up there as well. I'm sorry. I haven't seen Lost, so I'm. I'm I can't not. hear you. <laughs> He said um, he said Breaking Bad is his favorite show. I do. I, I love I love Breaking Bad. Um, Breaking Bad is a perfect show. Yeah, it is a perfect show. There's that, like one okay episode. The Fly, the Fly. Yeah, is but even, really but even that, but even no, that, it's a fucking great. That's episode. my favorite. That's it's one a great episode. Episode. I was like, Ryan Johnson. Fuck in my life. When I saw that, I was so pissed. I was like, I was what like, the fuck is this? They wasted an episode. Ryan, Ryan Johnson it. directed it. Incredible. Is it incredible? Just Ryan Johnson directed that episode. Yeah, he directed Ozymandias, which is which is the best one. Probably. Yeah, that's the climax. Cody of the show. <laughs> That's that is the climax, Brian. Okay, you're the one that brings us up. Okay, hold on. And then book, uh, uh, book, uh, definitely Fahrenheit 451. Oh, I might go I, To Kill I, a Mockingbird for my favorite book. That's a great book. I, I had to think about great, it. But to Kill a Mockingbird is yeah. a really good book. Yeah. It's a good one, yeah. Brian, uh, movie, Cuckoo's Nest, TV show. I would just guess Breaking Bad or go with Breaking Bad because it's so good from start to True finish. True Detective is always great too. So I, I it's watched only the, season one though. If you're going all the whole like yeah, same favorite okay. show, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I've watched the first episode of True Detective like three times and I'm I don't care to continue. Ah, uh, <laughs> but oh, the first season, the fir- uh, the first episode of the first season. Ah, uh, okay. and I'm like yeah, the first heavy. episode, you really have to get through it. Yeah, and then once you get to past it, then, yeah, okay. Book and book, I would go. Either 1984 or Catcher in the Rye. I enjoyed both. Of Catcher them. in the Rye is really great. I'm yeah. not a fan of uh, George uh, Orwell. 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 Yeah. Uh, you, haven't seen, you ever read Animal Farm? Yeah, I don't like that book. Oh, Animal Farm's incredible. Uh, uh, I've never okay. read it or uh, seen it. It's too oh, blatant for me. Really? Do you know uh, a book I really hated that was like I don't know if it was like in high school or college textbook was uh, On the Road. Oh yeah 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 the yeah yeah. Car- Kerouac book. Yeah. I could not finish that book. Have I was you guys like, read The Road? No. no. That's really good. McCarthy. I read that one. Yeah. That Ooh. one's good. Is it like the movie? It's pretty much like the movie. So I can watch the, the, movie. the book's better. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, let's go. Uh, Samiri at Samiri underscore T. Lethal Weapon or Die Hard? Go. Best Die franchise. Hard. Which had the best single movie? Die Hard. I think Die, Die Hard. Hard. Be- best single movie, Die Hard. But best franchise. I kind of go, go with Lethal Weapon. Honestly. You know what? You might be right. No, I'm thinking about it. So four, it, it you think the first Die Hard. Weapon, and then... Lethal Weapon 2, Lethal Weapon 4. Like Shit, you might be right. Lethal Weapon 4 is pretty right. underrated. Fuck. Yeah. I, I like that one a lot. But yeah, because... Fuck it, I'm going Die Hard. Still. The first three yeah. Die Hards are the last great. Last one's terrible, but yeah. I I re- I actually really like Live Free or Die Hard. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, I like that I like one too. I like. I that think too. a lot of people give that movie a lot of shit, but it's more Die Hard than Die Hard Five is. Yeah, Die Hard Five is just a complete piece of shit. Yeah. I will, is, I've only seen it once in the theaters. I will never see it again. Yeah. Is La- Live Free the one with Justin Long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Kevin Smith. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. I I I'd say the I don't like Die Hard too. But I love Die Hard three, uh, and three's I, great. Three's and I, great, and I think yeah, I agree. Die Hard four is like uh, Live Free or Die Hard. That one's pretty good too. But it, it's over the top as fuck. But it's an entertaining movie. Yeah, but I still say like Lethal Weapon one. And I think like Lethal Weapon I can't two. Remember, beast of that beast, beast, out uh, Lethal Weapon one. I can't. I can't remember much about two and three. I just I remember mostly one and four. Oh. Oh yeah. 
I mean, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> hey, 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 where do we go from here? So Die Hard wins. Die Hard wins. All right. Hey, Beardo, what'd you, what'd, you, what'd you say? I've only seen the first one of e- of either of those series, <laughs> oh, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, wow. I was like, oh, I'll pop in Die Hard. Oh, That's the movie. thing, though. If, like, for... Because I don't know. I know they do that fucking show, Die, uh, Lethal, Lethal Weapon. Weapon. Yeah. And oh, I heard, yeah. I've heard kind of good things, I heard it's I not terrible. I heard it's not terrible. Um, but Die Hard, it's like, the, there's the whole talk of them doing a sixth one, and, like, just either let it die... Or have um, John McTiernan, the Come director? Back. Yeah, he just yeah? got a Joe, yeah. You just, oh, <laughs> never mind. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, Tyler, oh God, it's like RB3 picking the giveaway winners. Tyler Tashida, oh no, that was pretty easy. TTT Shida asks, what's your favorite shot in any movie that you have ever seen? Just one uh-huh. shot. Oh, That's pretty good. Oh, that, that's I a good one. one. Give me a second, hold on. When I was w- watching uh, The Dark Knight at midnight and uh, the Joker or Batman had, had him in the, what is it, the semi-truck and he wrapped around it and the truck just like flipped like perfectly over. Mm. I was like, oh my God. They that actually was, broke a they, camera they, getting that they, shot. Did that? They broke the that's a real camera. truck flipping over, right? Yeah. Yeah, they actually like had like project, like they projected it, right? Or like little like missiles or something. Yeah, yeah, or something. But yeah, that like as they were shooting that shot, they broke a, a, the IMAX camera and there was only like three in the world at the time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. I remember watching, I was like, fuck, that was incredible right there. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Yeah, I'm think, the first, look, I'm going to think of one that's like better technically. But my favorite shot it's, it's got to be shit. No, I'm, there's, they're both from Jurassic Park. I'm thinking of it here. There's the shot. I'm starting to think you've only seen Jurassic. Park. <laughs> it's not the only movie I've seen, but it's my favorite. It's like my favorite movie, dude. Come on. Uh, it's it's either the shot where they're Alan Grant and the, the the girl is right there against the car, and then you see the T Rex foot. Mm. That one is just so fucking awesome. And then there's the shot at the end when the T Rex spoiler. <laughs> uh, when the T Rex is just roaring, and then the banner yeah. falls down when dinosaurs rule the earth or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's a good those, one. Like those are just so fucking cool. I just, I, it's, yeah, it's cool. That's all. Mm. There's a lot of good shots in 2001, too. That whole oh, movie yeah. is just like the whole, fucking the, incredible. Should, Barry, just, Barry Lyndon has some good ones, too, by the way. What's one? Oh, Barry, Barry Lyndon. Have you seen The Making of That, where like he used no, natural lighting, and mm-hmm. he actually got like space age like mm-hmm. lenses yeah. just yeah. to make the apertures so wide. Mm-hmm. And I think I remember fo- hearing about that. And the, the depth of field is so, so shallow. So shallow, yeah. like the nose is like in focus. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Are we three? What about you? Every shot? Um, it's, I mean, because, uh, I don't know. I, I'd really have to, because I, because I, I kind of want to say, like, some, like, like, uh, like something from the mirror, that, that, um, a classic 1975. I don't know. I, I, you guys I don't know. know. You got oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys oh, that, that's yeah, yeah, of course. This is, yes. um, I mean, flick, huh? you, you're asking me my favorite shot. I'm going to get into, like, some, like, RC farsi like, kind of, kind of, so I, I really have to, like, sit down and think about that one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's tough. It's I mean, tough. A, of a recent movie, um, that whole La La Land um, opening sequence like, was was really amazing. Okay. I guess you could say that because it was all a tracking shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, uh, but I mean, pretty crazy. but that's like, I mean, I wouldn't even put that in like a top twenty or. Any, I just, I just no. thinking recently, but I, I can't really even. Hmm. A lot of Tarantino stuff and a lot of Fincher stuff. I oh, love yeah. those books. Uh, seven, seven when detective, that's like just that's him that's there yeah. in the, the police department. That's yeah. it's just so good. Hmm. All right. Um, Jim McCann asks you specifically, are oh, you nice. fine, Jim? What are some of your filmmaking goals after college? Um, I mean, I, I definitely want to get into the um, business in some sense, you know? I mean, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do like anything like directing strictly or like editing or cinematography. What's, your, not, what's your goal in general? Um, I mean, like a long, long term goal. I mean, I, it's like a long, long term goal. I would love to like start like a production company Me one too. day. Yeah, yeah like uh, same thing. Um, and Did you call it RB3 Productions. Um, I, I think there's that's actually not a terrible like that. title that yeah. actually has a nice ring to it. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah, yeah. BT I Productions that, was cool too. It was. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. but I mean, no, no, definitely. That's definitely the question was to Robert. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's definitely like at the, the end goal is to do something. And I wanted to do something different. I don't know if you've guys read that, uh, that, uh, that book, uh, from the Pixar, uh, CEO, um, mm. John Lasseter, uh Creative John Inc. No, no, it's um, from like um, Ed Ed Mutchen or something like that. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's, it's Creative Inc. and they basically go into like the business practices of Pixar and how their whole strategy is like way different than like any other Hollywood. Pixar, dude, one of my uh, screenwriting professors was a story consultant for Pixar. Yeah, he was the best professor I've ever had. Yeah, like, learned yeah. so much shit there. It's awesome. Yeah, I've read like the twenty three storytelling rules of Pixar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I I don't remember all of them, but I remember like yeah, that was one cool. of our things. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. one of our assignments. So yeah. I definitely think like and. 
Plus two, man. I think I think this whole thing of of TV film, I think it's all like blending into one. Mm-hmm. Like I think the the lines are like breaking down further and further, like every single day. And yeah. Netflix and digital content. Yeah, like I mean, that. we just saw a TV show win the Oscar for best documentary, basically, right? Yeah, really. The, the yeah, OJ, uh, OJ, OJ and Simpson. Yeah. And Te- oh, technically, yeah. they screened all six or seven hours of it in a theater to make it qualify. But still, it's it a TV they, show. They aired it as a TV. It was show. made for yeah. TV. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and it's just like, and and we see a, lo- a lot. Like we see Netflix. Being this TV studio that's making ninety million dollars, Netflix, movies Amazon, with. Hulu, all of them are getting nominated yeah. now. So exactly, yeah. Amazon, Manchester Amazon. by the Sea. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like I don't. I I think these lines between film and TV are just getting blurrier and blurrier every day, and I kind of want to work in that. And and mm-hmm. obviously, we see things like Apple Music getting into, um, getting into content creating yeah. now. So when's you know. the first YouTube movie gonna get nominated? It's fucking gonna happen. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna happen. There's but a it, documentary but, that was uh, pretty, praised at Sundance. That was YouTube. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I mean, every day it's happening. Something happens. So yeah, just make shit, man. The yeah. fucking the Kong. We went to the see Kong Skull Island in IMAX, and the director, he was talking, and he just like it's so simple. Just, that was the thing. Just make shit. Just no, go just, fucking make yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it, it motivated the shit out of me. That's the thing. We That's have just, a camera. We're, we have, we're, we're, look what we're doing right now. Yeah. We're fucking making stuff. What are you laughing at, Cody? No, I'm like, look what we're doing with our camera. We're just sitting here in front of us. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's just hey, sitting there. You guys lights. make stuff. There's Hold on. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Us too. All right. I'll do a few more. Uh, Alana Marie 10 asks, specifically to you, Cody, favorite Pokemon? Oh, man. I saw this question. I couldn't think of an answer. This was tough. Uh, I really I really thought about this one. Um, this is fucking... Oh, okay. Um, I'm probably going to go Ditto, just because he's Ooh, just so interesting. Kind of a and cop out. Nobody really likes him. And he can never really like, he never really has a form. You know, I think it's just a really interesting thing. I could be cliche and go Charizard because he's fucking awesome. Gyarados is amazing. Scyther. Uh, Scyther is cool as shit. Kind of weak though. He is weak as fuck. Uh, he, yeah, he's, he's always cool. been disappointing to me. Uh, I was always a big fan of Cubone. Uh, Cubone, bone, bone. Yeah, I, if I had to pick one. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was Arbuck one. That was Arbuck. That's pretty good, good huh? Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to go Ditto just because he's so... He's kind of underrated. Okay. Nobody really likes him, but I, I love him. who was Ditto. always or, over, uh, underrated was uh, uh, Porygon. Porygon's really interesting. Yeah. You can never fucking get him in those no, games. No, you had to like, never get you had him. To, like buy him. You had to like win him in that lottery yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that was difficult. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Remember in Pokemon Snap, he was a lot of fun to take pictures. Oh, Pokemon. Those, those I have pictures. that game, and I just got to hook him up. What the app. fuck are we you doing here? You have a 64 still? What are we doing here? Let's go. Yeah, Let's. Ooh, okay. End of Wanger Show, sorry. We need to make like a Let's Play video. I'm going to get um more... Uh, Nintendo 64 controllers. Okay. Mm. And we're going to play Goldeneye. Okay. Goldeneye. Yeah. No, Let's screen, make fucking no screen Let's play hopping. Videos. Let's do it. No screen hopping. <laughs> no screen hopping. You it's look like hopping. the kind of guy that would screen hop. I don't screen <laughs> hop. All right. Yeah. Steven Scott says, What's the most inappropriate time that RB3 started laughing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we watched Independent Day Resurgence and the oh, Birth of yeah. a Nation trailer came on. <laughs> well, I don't, he's I, just busting up laughing. <laughs> well, I don't uh, think I laughed at that one specifically. You did. Uh, you I did. did. <laughs> but you I know for. I know for. for the Independence Day. I mean, I was laughing a lot in that. You movie. were. And it was incredible. <laughs> um, you kept me sane. <laughs> I think the time I, I kind of felt the worst was like we they're talking about. Uh, uh, well, Cody Miller was in the studio, and then uh, and Christian was like, "Yeah, yeah, you know, obviously we're ruined for you, you know, because you, you're American, obviously." <laughs> like, I don't know why that shit made me laugh like super hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's very inappropriate. Yeah. Very inappropriate. <laughs> All right, let's do. <laughs> This might be my favorite question. Giovanni Ro- uh, Rosas. Uh, Ro- Rosas uh, Gio- Gianni? Oh, not take, Giovanni. Sorry. Take a second. Take Gianni a second. Rosas <laughs> says, do you think all of the wanger crew armed with socks with a stick of butter could <laughs> take a silverback gorilla? <laughs> you know, Giovanni, we get this question all the time. <laughs> I gotta say. I'm so sick of answering this question. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I could take a silverback gorilla. Uh, so if all of us myself. had a bag of, of like soap, is what you're saying? Uh, no, it was, a uh, of no soap? it was butter. Oh, butter. Yeah, that's different. Soap, I think we'd have a shot. Butter, I'm not sure. <laughs> butter's gonna, butter melts. Yeah, butter's going to melt quicker. Then it's just going to get dirty. Yeah. Um, I, I, think, I think we're getting our asses kicked <laughs> by that gorilla, guys. I think we would all die horribly. Yeah, yeah that's not going to be great. I, I'd be the gorilla by myself. Y'all know what you're talking about. No, really? Oh, shit. Really? really? All right. Ain't, ain't, wrong, ain't got nothing right. on me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> RB3 has everyone's favorite laugh, but does he have a favorite of his own? Who of all of our laughs do you like? Yeah. Who's your favorite laugh? Uh, favorite laugh out of you guys? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, I feel like if Cody laughs, it has to be something special. Like, oh, okay. Cody's pretty hard to get. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> so, I like Ace's yeah, laugh. Ace's, Ace's laugh is pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> we, lo- we, yeah. we love you, Ace. We love, you. We love him. Yeah. yeah. He's, it's a laugh He's got a good laugh. Hard. He's got a good laugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. 
We got a call right now. Do you guys want? To- All right, we'll take. <laughs> Bring we'll take on. we'll take one call and then we'll call it a day. All right. Who do we have? Are you you calling him yet? He's there. He's okay. There. Right. He or she? <laughs> don't just assume he's a I fucking know, man. I know who it is. <laughs> we have a caller on the line. We're all drunk, excluding RB3. He's been drinking so much goddamn OJ. <laughs> who do we have on the Wanger Show? Simpson. It's your boy Chris Woodburn. Hey, what's hey, up, Chris? Woody. Hey, Woody. What you up, doing, man? man? So we're closing out the show. We got you. Yeah. You're the last what wanna, call. What do you want to ask us? I mean, shit, there's a fucking million questions I could ask you right, guys, well, you know. F- fucking A, man. First, I want to tell you, I just want to tell you, you guys are fucking awesome. Yeah. Hey, thank fuck you, Fuck anybody, fuck anybody <laughs> on the internet who has something disrespectful to say about you guys. Fuck yeah, yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter. Preach. Thank yeah. you, man. Appreciate that. Pineapples on All pizza. Right. Let's really do it. Cool guy, yeah. dude. All right. Thank you for sticking up for us. Thank you, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right. I, I try. My, I try my best, but they those those assholes, those ball bags, as Christian would put it, <laughs> fucking yeah. pieces. They're of relentless. Shit. Yeah, yeah, they're the worst, and you're the best. You yeah. are the best, Chris. Did you have a question, or you just want to tell those guys? I mean, to you fuck can just off. tell us we're awesome all yeah. day. That's great too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, my question. I mean, I I love Logan. You know, I watched her behind the scenes vid just a little while ago. <laughs> yeah. Did you? I love Logan. <laughs> and as you say, Cobster. Is it the best movie, comic book movie since The Dark Knight? I'm not sure yet. It's great. Civil War was, you know, on another level. Yeah. I was mildly but... joking and half drunk when I said that, too. But I, I do think it's one of the better comic book movies that have come out since yeah. The Dark Knight. Oh, yeah. it's great. I yeah. mean, the story was very compelling. It was the perfect film for Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart to close out their run. Absolutely. As, as those characters. I mean, I, I loved it. I've seen the film three times now. Oh, wow. I hey. love it. Mm. It's right. number three for me behind Civil War and then, of course, the masterpiece that is The Dark Knight. Okay. Of course. Mm. All right. But yeah, I, I love it. I got, I got, I got to bust out RB3's balls a little bit. Oh, yeah. Hey, right. Labyrinth. Hey. What Come on, bro. Oh, oh, Pan's oh Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth? <laughs> yeah, I remember when we were doing that. I was kind of, I was kind of disappointed in you. Oh, I was dude. like, you're really gonna go Pan's Labyrinth here? Are you uh, kidding me? That's, you were the deciding I mean, vote. <laughs> to me, that's that's uh, one of the best movies of uh, of, like the past couple decades, man. Like, really? Yeah. What was it? it what, it's a it great beat? movie. It's a great movie, but you broke my heart a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Did it beat out Dark Knight or it what? Did. It, oh, it beat out Dark Knight. It did. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a big controversy. Because oh. for me, I mean, nothing beats out Dark Knight for me. Heath Ledger. Wow, I I've loved movies since I was a kid, but The Dark Knight really brought me to my current fandom where yeah. it is today. No, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I totally get that, man. I just feel like there hasn't really been too many movies that have been as influential like as uh, Pan's Labyrinth has been recently. You know what I'm saying? Like, we it's wouldn't have though. movies like um, what was that one that Monster Calls? We wouldn't have things like that, or we wouldn't have New Monster like Truck, Bridge, Bridge, Bridge Monsters Ter- Trucks. Oh, no, 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 it's no, different, no, different movies. That's not what that was. Okay, yep, sorry. different movie. Yeah. Bridge of Terabithia. I mean, there's so many movies that like got direct influence from something like Pan's Labyrinth, and I think that's one of the great. Yeah, but do those movies really get talked about all that much? Mm. Do they, Robert? I say but, no. I do mean, they? do the Dark Knight ripoffs? Are they any good? I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> like the Man of Steel is all right, I guess, but mm-hmm. you know. Um, Fan, fan force. Thing. I mean, as far as you know. in, as far as influence in films, a couple cases, maybe not directly because of the Dark Knight, but to a degree, like take Star Trek into darkness. I think you know, um, um, Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he channeled a little bit of Heath Ledger in that role. Ooh. That's an interesting take. He's I think he high. channeled a lot of uh, Khan from um, <laughs> Star Trek: Wrath of Khan in that performance. Uh-huh. That's me personally, though, but. <laughs> You know, interesting. Is, yeah, okay. that's pretty interesting. Yeah. All right. But hey, but you know, I mean, it could go. It's it's all to its own. You know, I I just personally, that's why all this stuff is subjective. But is it personally? Yeah. Is it personal to you? Yeah, pers- personally, <laughs> for me, I personally me think personally. that I personally hmm. like Pan's personally. Labyrinth more oh. than how the personal? Dark personal. Personally, oh, personally. Okay. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> you as a person. and let's and let's be honest. Every villain since the Dark Knight, in one way or another, gets compared to Heath Ledger. I mean, it's a bit yeah. unfair, mm-hmm. but they, it, it's the reality. He's a big staple you in the comic book movies. There, That's true. Yeah. No one's going to be as, as well good as villains. Him. I don't think anybody can, you know, top that, obviously. But mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Oz Gruber. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's saying he, he, he 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 comic book movies, movies Rob. Oh, and he's saying okay. since oh, Heath Ledger. You. Hans Gruber is a fantastic villain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Top of all time. Oh, yeah. Dollar's a classic. Fucking A, man. It is. All right, Chris. Thank you so much for calling, calling, man. We appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. You're a good dude, brother. Thanks, and 
it was an honor to talk to you, to the Wangers. Hell you too, yeah. Buddy. Honor to talk to you, man. Right. Thank you so much. Keep fighting the fight, brother. All right, man. Take it easy. Thank you. Thank you. And, and uh, one other thing. I just want, I'm sure you probably know, but it's my dream to be a part of everything that you guys are doing. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're an inspiration. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you for your call. No problem. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Right, well, Thanks, have buddy. a great day, fellas. You too, Thank man. Peace. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Fucking right. A, man. We need more callers like that. Yeah. Yeah. Fight the cause. Just Let's go vibes. out there and fucking yeah. kill. Just go out and kill, man. Fuck everybody, man. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah. All right. That was cool. That was a fun, cool, fun. I can't talk. You're drunk. That's one. You <laughs> haven't even finished your second beer. <laughs> Cody's gone. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for watching this second episode of the Show. Come Wanger back. Come show. back. We need you for no, the No, no, no. Uh, keep closing... off screen. It would have been funny. No, you're already coming back. But for the, for the music, we need it. <laughs> oh, that's right. We need someone to fucking play the music because our fucking sound guy can't do it because he can't find it. He can't find um, the damn intro. Really, really appreciate everybody who listened to this. If you're listening uh, to us on iTunes, please subscribe to this Schmozno iTunes feed. Uh, rate, comment, do all those things. Share it with your friends. Get us up there on the charts. If you're watching us on iTunes, again, we are giving away a free F-R-E-E, F-R-E-E Uh-oh. shirt of a Wanger shirt. Specifically for you, all you got to do is just like this video, give it a comment, whatever we're talking about, all show long, and hey, share it off with your friends, your families, your friends. Not maybe not your parents because it'd be a little inappropriate and racist, but yeah. other than that, you want to <laughs> just, just do it. Just share it off with everybody. I'd like to thank my panel here. <laughs> RB3, thank you so much for being in studio. You're not thank that special, so much, but man. tell everybody uh, where they can find He's, you on the Robert, internet. Robert, you're one of my favorite people. You are very special. Thank and you. I, I appreciate tell the people that. where they can find you. Uh, uh, you can find me on Twitter, RB3 Schmoes, Instagram, RB3 Schmoes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can find is. my laugh uh, on this show and the after schmo. <laughs> after schmo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, so yeah. Exe- so well they executed. Um, <laughs> where else? What else? What else you got uh, going on lately? <laughs> Stop it! What else? Keep what else? What else, what else do you have? Do you have anything going on lately? Uh, not. Oh, we're we're in the Beauty and the Beast uh, sketch. Oh yes, yeah. we got a sketch. Uh, hopefully, it is out by now. Good. Please be sure to check that out. If it is out by the time this video comes out, which is a Monday, regularly scheduled. Uh, we will put it in the description for you guys to go check it out. So check it out in the description. Hopefully it's there. Uh, Brian, where can they find you on Twitter? On Instagram? Twitter, Schmoes, Schmoes Beardo. I was going to say Schmoes No Beardo, but it's at twitter.com slash Schmoes Beardo. Mm-hmm. Uh, tomorrow, if this comes out on Monday, I'm going to have an episode with Mark Ellis. Oh, you recorded Ooh. it. I had a conversation with Mark. Yeah. How'd it go? All right. It was great. All right, cool. Yeah, that's. I'm sorry, but that's why I couldn't do the behind the scenes videos because I waited for Mark Ellis. Yeah, no, it's fine. No, I'm sorry. it's totally cool. <laughs> yeah. More work on my plate is always fucking great. I'm Cody, sorry. where can they find you on the internet? Well, you can find me at the real Cody Hall, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm always behind the scenes at Schmoes and Collider mm-hmm. doing stuff. Yeah, and uh, yeah, doing really inappropriate. <laughs> yep, Check bad it. mic checks to all other shows are going on. Mm-hmm. He, may, he he's not on on Instagram and Twitter and all that on his phone, but he still has it. So follow him. I do. You do. No, and you guys can find me on Twitter at cops fifteen schmoes no at schmoes no schmoes show going live every Wednesday seven to nine p.m. PST. Ooh. You find me on the production crew along with these motherfuckers right here. Ooh. We're going live, doing a lot of great stuff. I think this week we've got a pretty special guest. I don't want to say it, but I'm pretty sure. No, we do have a guest, Brian. We it's do sound, have a guest. Sounds like fun. Yeah, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So again, if you want a free wanger shirt, leave a comment. Comment. Leave a comment, leave a like, and then comment. Jesus Christ. I'll give some, someone a fucking shirt. We so. can't talk today, guys. No. Yeah, we've All been right. talking for too you long. You want to close it out? <laughs> See that? I was like the hi-hat. No, it was more like a China, but oh, it's okay. No, China, China? China is like a... <laughs> yeah. And the hi-hat is like... You're in this drum terminology. All right. Tom's. Do, do, do. Rock out with me. Come on. And if you like this video... Do us a favor. Check out the last Schmoes No Show, as well as the last Wanger Show, right down there. In a couple seconds, you'll be able to click on them. It'd be a lot, a lot of fun if you did too, brother. Subscribe to us, hit the SK Plus, and check out all the other shows on the SK Plus channel. Number one, number two, don't fucking matter. Go ahead and watch them. And if you want to buy some t-shirts, this is YouTube only. Hit our, check out our merch store. 